Hello, so welcome we're... to Games Gone By episode. I don't know what episode it is. This is going to be a new intro for the beginning ones because we never actually made this an intro. If you listen to it, this is just a segment from Blue Rupees. Uh, <laughs> now he's just gone. <laughs> I'm Adrian. The one that you see there is Red Man. We got David here. <laughs> No, that's gore. This is our book club that we do on our podcast, Blue Rupees. We post this about once a month. We're going through our backlog and reposting episodes. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for this right now. <laughs> We're posting this up as uh, as uh, standalone episodes right now. And because we never actually <laughs> recorded an intro, people are going to see how happy you are in this intro and then see you're just like... <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's from Bad Lieutenant. That's the one where he says, mm, no panties. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is our video game uh, book club podcast, though. We're going to put this at the beginning of the first couple episodes. I don't know how many times you might see us. You might see it one, two, maybe three. I don't know how many times, actually. We'll see. Probably um, four. Or four or five. And you're going to just see that little giggling Gus over there having a good time. Um, <laughs> I had pictures. Yeah, you can follow us at Games Gone By, brp at bluerupees.com. You can email us. And, and honestly, at this point, if you email us about any sort of impressions you have on any game that we played, we'd love to read them. Just kind of get impressions from the back catalog. Because we do, uh, especially for different seasons, we will go back and, and look Ooh. back at the games that we did play. Hell uh, yeah. There. Good way to send it off. We love everyone. <laughs> Enjoy. Fuck you. There you go. Oh, crack. Well, he's a god sitting there. He looks like crack. All that white. Well, all that white on him? Crack cocaine? He knows. All that red? You know what that is? Crack. What's a drug that's red? I don't know. Red. Uh, red. Died red. Mars crack. Probably ecstasy. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, that's the crack. <laughs> you get straight from Mars. Doom guy would know about that. Because he... Mars... Kills no, wait, 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 we're definitely not recording right now, right? Welcome to the games gone by for oh, God of War. <laughs> we're definitely not recording. We are recording. There he is. <laughs> Kratos. I was going to say something, but I'll save it for later then. Uh-oh. He's going to say something really offensive. This is our no, retrospective. No, this is our God retrospective. God of War is not the game of the year. Almost kind of book club thing that we do at least once a month now. We got a lot of bonus episodes coming because we were enjoying yeah. this and uh, all want to play games that we all are like, oh, yeah, I'm done to play that. Um, so let's just start it off from the beginning. I think we just let's get all that stuff out of the way in case people are watching for the first time. That way, you don't have to watch to the end. I think. Or do you guys really want to save the the next episode for the end? Uh, I'm excited. I'll talk about it whenever. So, or what do you, you wanna... think? Should we should we save it for the end or just do it at the beginning? What what David announces? Do it now. Do it later. All right, let's do it. Now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so let me say first. Uh, our next game's gone by, which will be midway through February, is going to be What Remains of Edith Finch. That was voted on by the community. Yes. Uh, David has his month in February. Uh, so, ahead. first and foremost, I just want to say... Uh, any last... Any last wait, 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 wait. Any last wait. guests or guesses, Gore? Well, he just... I know what it is. Now. Oh, never mind. Fuck so, it. <laughs> I already yeah. know what it is. He said, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. I know what it is now. I, I, had, I had an idea... What it was. I still don't know what it is. Yeah. All right. Know. So uh, he first, his hat a little bit too much. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't think Adrian was gonna go for guesses there, but uh, I don't know. Adrian, do you have any guesses? No, probably not. Yeah. It's a it's a joke game. <laughs> uh, it. So it's a game I've been really excited to play. I've known about this game for years, uh, but it's suddenly caught popular consciousness again somehow. Uh, a lot of YouTubers have been making videos about it, which was like finally made me go, I really need to play that. Uh, and that game is Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. Uh, I don't know that is. <laughs> that is our next game's gone by. That's not on Steam. We went no. from it's free game <laughs> and it's it's a it's a fan made game, right? Yes. It's a we went from Undertale, <laughs> Dead Space, Doki Doki, Inside, Inside. God, God of War. Of War. <laughs> Shut up and jam Gaiden. <laughs> Charles Barkley, shut up and jam Gaiden. Charles Barkley, I, shut up and I've jam. Heard of, I've heard of that game, yes. It's a, it's an old game, too. Yes, it's from 2014. It is an RPG maker oh, it's game. 2014, really? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that was, like, way earlier, though. I'm, I'm assuming this 100% does not play on uh, Catalina. Uh, no, 100% will not play on Catalina. Okay. 
Catalina. So, but your Surface will run it no problem. Okay. All right. So that is February. Um, what's what's our um before we get to it? What's our limit on how big of advance I need to give for a game? I think if I think we talked about this last time. If it's above thirty hours, we need a month advance. Yeah. Thirty hours are hard limit on on the month advance. Or do yeah. you guys want to go a little bit lower? I think I think twenty five is good. All right, twenty five would be fair. Yeah. Um, let me see how long mine is. If I have to announce that now. Announce it now. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Main story is nineteen. Main and extra is thirty one. Completion is forty four. You guys want to hear you, it now? Yeah, that's, I, I'd probably I'd cut the like the difference there and say twenty five. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably announce it. Yeah. Okay. So, so wait, can we guess? Yeah, I guess. I have no idea even what to guess. Uh, <laughs> this is a game Red I've Red wanted. Redemption, is it? Yeah. No, you wish it was twenty five hours. hours my ass. Nineteen hours for one mission. I mean, let me go. Let me go look at Red Dead Redemption twos for a second. No, it's like a hundred and like sixty hours. Or some shit for main and extra. Yeah, main like forty six and a half. Main and extra seventy six and a half. Completion is one hundred sixty. Okay. Yeah, you ready for that, okay. David? Um. All right, give me, give us a hint. I've wanted you to play this for a long time now. There's a reason for it this year. It's not Persona, right? No, no it would be no thirty <laughs> hours. I would fucking wish, <laughs> fucking wish. Uh, it's a, it's a reason for it this year. You've been wanting me to play it. Is it Doom? <laughs> no. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Uh, what's your name, David? <laughs> <laughs> Who have been podcasting with this whole time? Uh, Podcast. Oh, you gotta give us another hint. You gotta give David another hint because he doesn't know what the hell you wanted me to play. Uh, the title is two words. Oh, they're just gonna tell us the title. Two worlds. <laughs> No. Yeah, he's been really wanting me to play Two Worlds. <laughs> the, would you get Would you get freaked out if I said that? If I said yeah, two. if you said that, I wouldn't play it. And they, like this would be the first like I abstain. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, everyone gets that's one abstain. That's the world's worst game ever. Um, um, two two words. Two words sounds like. No, I'm not giving you that. Oh. You guys, I'll give you guys another minute. <laughs> sounds like it's not pokemon sword right? i'll kill you if it is no. <laughs> it's not here it's not a year old oh, that's true i forgot it looks like it's about 10 years uh, old pokemon <laughs> let's go pikachu uh oh no i don't know is it near it's not near is it no that'd be oh, a lot more a problem with that? no uh, there's a reason not... for it this year i know but what what games you got 30 seconds before i tell you fuck you well fancy <laughs> seven <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Is it? No. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought maybe you wanted to play that. No, I'm good. Huh? What? <laughs> You're good, dick. <laughs> Did you say Dave? Four? No, I wish. Uh, <laughs> I gotta say I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I could change the limit right now. I could say yes, and then you guys would never have known. It's a great idea. In fact, now it's Resident Evil. All right, last right. guesses. Resident Evil Four would be tough to play now. Um, because me a scrub. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. David, last guess. Left alive. <laughs> oh, I kill you again. Watch <laughs> Dogs too. Oh, Watch that's me. three fucking words. What the fuck. Well, I, I watched Dogs is what I was going for, but I didn't add the number in there. <laughs> Watch Dogs one. I fucking shoot you right. Now. <laughs> Watch Dogs two. That's a great one, actually. I'm excited. Yeah, I was. That. I was gonna save that for June, but we got a lot of time in March, baby. Okay. Not on Game Pass. Nope. It's like a ten dollar yeah. game. Yeah, it's like involves spending money on something I have no interest in. You're gonna fucking spend the money. You're gonna do it. You're gonna uh, fucking do it. Spend the money. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Watch dogs. Yeah. Anyway, watch. Hey, dogs. David keeps up this attitude of, oh, I gotta buy something I have no interest in. I'm gonna yeah. fucking shit all over you with games that are gonna be 100 hours long, like Red Dead One and Red Dead Two, GTA Four. I'll, sp I'll fucking spite you, bitch. <laughs> I will spite you. Don't start that war, Adrian. I can hey, there's two of us. Me. There's one of you. <laughs> That's fine. Even I can make fun. your fucking experiences more miserable. No, I'll watch mine on YouTube, but I don't care. You ain't going to. <laughs> All right, Watch Dogs 2, though. That's my that's my game's gone by for March. There and, you go, um, Watch Dogs 2. 
and Charles Barkley's Shut the Fuck Up and Jam. And there will be a bonus episode somewhere in the middle of all that, too. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> so, wait, Charles Barkley's Dumb Shut up a Jam Guide. Dumb Jam. When is that? That's February. Yeah, the end of February, which let me pull that up on the key. So that is going to be... And then Adrian's is in March? Uh, February 27th. February 27th is, is, is that one. My game is going to be on March 26th. Damn, we have two months for that. Yeah, you got plenty of time. But I think that's a game that you're going to want to kind of come through. I 100% of that game, so that, I, I'm happy to give you guys more time on that. Um, okay. I'm talking 100%. Like, I got every collectible, side mission, everything. I can't wait to kill people and then dance on their corpse. Um, and then you don't know how long I've been waiting to do that. Let me get let me get the full lowdown. Let me get full lowdown for this. February thirteenth is what remains to be the Finch. Um, February twenty seventh is uh, shut up and jam Gaiden. Yep. March twelfth we have a games gone by. Yes. To be announced. To be announced. And then March twenty sixth will be Watch Dogs two. And then, and then Gore April. has the honor of April <laughs> games come by. And then April will be Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would fucking love that. It, That'd be fucking amazing. Because you know why we played it. We're fucking men. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's going to play it now. And buy it. <laughs> and during while, while he has Cyberpunk and Final Fantasy 7, he's still playing. Well, no Cyberpunk. I got delayed. <laughs> oh, right. So wait, what's, yeah. in, what's in April again? Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Yeah, I keep forgetting what day everything is. And Evercade comes I guess, out. I guess the Persona Persona Five is technically in April. I mean, it's the yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah fuck David, be. dude. Fuck David Gore. Just fucking do it. All right. You're <laughs> fucked, son. <laughs> I tried to be nice to a small game. No, I see how it is. I will give you a small sum. A no small hope. aneurysm after you're done playing all these yeah. games. Oh, no, that's gonna be a big one. I'm gonna give him a small penis. <laughs> um, I think I think at this rate, if we can kind of balance out well, I think we can do two games gone by a month. We'll see how that yeah. goes, though, because we, we are balancing it one short game, one lengthy, or at least one like game chosen by ourselves. All I'm going to say is I think Fuck. the next game I will do will be a long one because I've done two short ones. So it, I will try to balance it. So it's you don't have something to. that I think you no because I, I I do want it to be something <laughs> you guys will be interested in as <laughs> much as I make the joke that it's like no, no we're going to JRPG Central oh, I do dear. want you guys to enjoy what we potentially play so and I, as much as I'm like ah I'm gonna fucking hate this I know it's just me being like stuck in that mindset because I've been noticing there's been a lot of games that I've been kind of softening on although goddamn I got some fucking words about Edith Finch. But uh, there, there's fucking love I, that game. I have a yeah. I would love if you just if you psyched us out. That'd be the fucking greatest psych out of this podcast. Where you're well, just like, I got some fucking words about that. Fucking, well, we got some words about that. But there's been like I've like visual novels. We talked about this a little bit before. I have actually been softening on that. Um, Valhalla and replaying through Doki Doki. Kind of like yeah, okay, maybe I might like the genre more than I think. But uh. No, there's still a lot of bullshit, like Edith Finch, that we'll be talking about soon. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe I might like Red Dead. I, don't know. I, might I like genuinely Watch think Dogs. you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna eat your words so fucking hard on Red Dead. I'm not sure about Watch Dogs, but you're going to eat your <laughs> fucking words on, on Red Dead, too. I can promise you. I think you're going to like be actually surprised at how much you're going to enjoy that game. Watch Dogs, was... too, had co-op, right? Nope. Oh, it did. No, it, no, 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 it did. It, it, had... it did. I think I think Watch Dogs so. One had co op at least. Watch Dogs like, Two well, did have co op. Well, Watch Dogs One co-op. didn't have co op. It had that stupid thing where you like you have to find the person that's like, like the agent or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. Watch Dogs Two did have co op. Yeah, I remember them announcing that. Yeah. I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. I'll probably fucking at least I vaguely remember that. This is pay week, so I'll pick up Watch Dogs soon. And it, it was like it's usually like on self. Let me let me see how much it is used. I mean, you can probably get it for like fifteen bucks used. Probably even cheaper sometimes. Let me see. Yeah, I'm sure on eBay you can get. It for oh yeah, let me let me check eBay. <laughs> yeah, I'll check eBay real quick. So I don't care. Already if I checking. Have or Xbox, I'll get it. Whatever. Hey, already checking, fellow. Now you know what? Already no, Watch checked. Dogs Two on Wait. Xbox One. Xbox One. You can get it for ten bucks right now. I see some guy that has the best offer, uh, or best offers. You can probably get it for like seven bucks right now. Let me see. You want the link to that? Do you see it? 
Uh, I'm looking up now. I, I'll still have to wait till tomorrow to get it, but what? Payday tomorrow. You don't have seven dollars on you? Uh, I'm one of those weird people that as soon as I know it's pay week, I stop spending money. I don't have to. Because, well, the way I do it is anytime I have spare money on a pay week, I roll it into like a house payment or a car payment so I can pay them off faster. The way I'm currently projected is I'll be paying off like my car, which is a seven year loan in three years. And then my house, which is a 30 year loan, I'll be paying off in like 12. So I always do that as just a patient. Don't off make faster. the offer. No. Oh. I can wait until fucking tomorrow. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's gone now. All right. God of War, though. We're doing God of War. This is what you guys are here for. Are we? We'll put, we'll put the timestamp in there, too, to make sure people have one. 20 minutes just... into the God of War discussion, we're going to be Only 14 about minutes. Whatever. By the time uh, we actually start talking about it, it'll be 20. We'll put the timestamps in it for sure. Um, so let, let's get uh, some first impressions up here. We will be uh, showing off in the other bottom corner the trailer that we'll watch along with. Um, kind of doing some more stuff with that because we have that whole extra quadrant to do with now. Um, but yeah, let, let's talk about this. So this was Gore. Let, let's talk about why you picked this. Well, I had to play it finally. I mean, <laughs> you know, everybody infamous, you know, the, game of the year. It's everyone on the internet just shits all over you, and there's like, yeah, this game, yeah, everybody shits on me. Uh, I noticed like, that you turned off comments on the uh, a, the yeah, game. <laughs> Like, I took a gone. screenshot. I was watching that again, actually, because I wanted to see your full reaction to it. Right. Uh, so I took a screenshot of you going, boo, and then I just took a screenshot with that with all comments disabled. <laughs> <laughs> Which is bullshit, because immediately after that, I said, like, no, nah, I'm just joking. I wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I didn't want to upset everybody. But, you know, what? the bullshit thing about that was... Uh, someone took my, I've said this before, but someone took my reaction to that and made a, a compilation of a bunch of other people's reactions to winning game of the year. Uh, and they just cut off right when I went boo. So it really looked like I just didn't like it. And to the point, everybody's like, that guy said boo, he's a piece of shit. That guy sucked. There, there was, was like one guy defending me. I think there, there was one guy. Look that up. There was, the there was, there was some, I... there was some guy in there that's like, that guy's an asshole. You see what he does to his fans? I'm like, what and he's like yeah you just talk shit on it i'm like no that's oh, yeah. that's just a joke though <laughs> like every joke they're telling you like you know, fuck anyone with the license no i'm just kidding but you know <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't know people are so defensive like, nowadays on youtube i'm like, okay look back in the like 2008 man i'm gonna say this anything. i'm gonna say this and yeah. and like i'm not gonna say what i'm gonna say fuck it <laughs> that's just no, uh, let's, talk let, let's talk about let's talk about a little more, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll ease that line and maybe see. All what right, we get there. so God of War, I really wanted to I wanted to play because I, I love the original God of War games. Uh, God of War one and two were games I I played with my friends. I don't hang out with them anymore. Fuck them. Personal reasons. Yeah, fuck them. But um, I I played the, those games are so good. God of War one is great. God of War two is amazing. That was a game that I've never played a God right. of War game. God of War two is amazing. It's my favorite in the first three, at least. And that game, I remember... That like, game upset came out on PS2 after PS3 came after out. After PS, that's what I was going to say, because I was upset that PS3 came out and it was so hard to get. I didn't have one. Um, I, I had a 360, so I was okay. But um, I really wanted a PS3. And then, I, like, not even... I think it was, like, three months later, God of War 2 came out on PS2. I think it came out, like, February of 20, 2007, I believe. Uh, I'm just... I'm guessing maybe it's March... Uh, but that game came out. I was like, whoa! <laughs> it was like it looked better than pretty much every, every like if you just up res that game to like 1080p, that game would look like at least like a, at least like two times as good as any game on the PS3. Like Resistance, what what the fuck else came out? Dude, Genji Days of the Blade or whatever or whatever that was called. Like it, it was a great looking game. But that game was was fun. I mean, the combat was great. I'm talking about all the games, even the third game. The combat's great. Uh, Kratos is probably the biggest dickhead in gaming, and he's one of the most unlikable characters ever. So to make that character likable and relatable and sympathetic is probably the hardest thing you do. But Cody Barlog, uh, who also, I think he wrote the first one. Corey Barlog? And he had, he had Cody. Cody uh, Corey. Oh, sorry, Corey. I always do that. Corey Barlog. He he wrote, I'm pretty sure he wrote the first one. I don't know if he wrote the other ones, but he had some involvement. Like, I think maybe he was a lead designer or something. But uh, he wanted to 
you know, it took him five years to make this game, but uh, he uh, he made Kratos sympathetic, and which is I thought would be impossible, but uh, he did it, and yeah, I really wanted to play it, so that's why I picked it. I thought January would be a perfect time for it, especially we just came out of the last year, which had some great games, uh, and figured we play the game that everybody considers the best game of the year prior. So, God of War. Uh, um, I... I've never played a God of War, so I'm kind of curious to go back now and just see oh, how yeah. how fucking much I just hate Kratos with with the context <laughs> of God of War uh, 2018 in my mind. Everything. All right, can I just say this? Yeah. Everything. Every smart decision Kratos makes in this game, this new God of War game, where he's just like, I'm not gonna kill this guy, and every t- every lesson he's tr- teaching Atreus throughout the entire game does not exist yeah. before. Does does not exist. He's a completely different character to the point where it's a different voice actor too that plays him in uh, the first three games. Uh, they don't even get the same guy. Kratos in the first uh, uh, original games is literally just, oh, are you alive? Yeah. Ares. <laughs> You You tricked me, you fuck! And he comes up and he kills everybody. (laughs) All right, there's a perfect example of how much of a dick he is. In God of War 3, he has to hold a door open so you can go past it because it's a puzzle. It's a door puzzle. Everybody, we every game has these. Um, Instead of just like I don't know, using a block or something, there's just like this this girl there. And he, he puts her under the fucking... It's an innocent woman, too. She's just... She's there. She's an innocent... Whatever. And he uses her as a door wedge. Just, like, right there. Let, let her, like, hold the door up until she gets squished. He don't give a shit. Like, Kratos from the first three games doesn't care. Which I love. I love it. He's an unlikable dick, but I love it. Um, He's like if... uh. If I always... I, I keep equating everything to Doom. But it's like Doom Slayer. If Doom Slayer could talk and... Uh, well, just I angry. Just and he, no and he other doesn't, doesn't he demonstrates gods. Yeah, he's just angry. He's an angry man. Yeah, but Doom guy's also trying to save people still, like in, in a sense, you know. Yeah, that's true. Whereas Kratos is just, I need to kill everything. Yeah, to the point, to the point where he damns so many people. He just screw, he screws over every like. Like fucking <laughs> Athena is like, oh yeah, you know, you could potentially do some good. You're like, what? Do good? No, no, I'm just gonna go fucking kill everyone. And then there's, you, there's a collection on PS4, else. right? It should be called God of Vengeance because that's every game. Is yeah. Just like... <laughs> how, how much? How much is a collection on PS4, and how long are the games? Uh, I don't think there's they're a. They're short. They're oh. like five, six hours. Yeah, the first two are like five, six, seven hours tops. The third game, I think, is around the same. Um, well, they're not really a collection on PS4. Co- I'm pretty sure there's not a collection on PS4. No, there isn't. They, yeah, the, the the third game got remastered. You but, know what? Uh, I might have it on Vita. That's good. Play those two on Vita and then play the third one on PS4. The third uh, one's on PS4 because it launched on PS4 and one got remastered for PS4. Yeah, the remaster came out on PS4. Um, the, the PSP games are actually pretty good, too. Yeah, I remember Chains of Olympus being all right. Yeah, Ghost of Sparta's good. Ghost of Sparta has his brother, which never gets mentioned again. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I love the original God of War game, so it's just funny playing this game. And he's like the opening shots him like, like, just like not sensually. That's not a right word, but him just like <laughs> very sensual, creative, very sensually touching that tree. No, he's just like it's very emotional. Obviously, something just happened. We don't know yet. It's just he's just like gently touching a tree. I'm like, R- real Kratos. I mean, he does end up cutting the tree down, but real Kratos would have just grabbed the tree and ripped it off and then shoved it down a demon's throat or whatever. Fuck. So. Yeah, real Kratos would have been like. Ah, tree, and then just shoot through it. Um, I, I must I, make the gauntlets to kill I, my enemy. God damn, I have so much games to play. But you, that was his daughter's name. I got so many games I want to play, but you guys are kind of selling me on how much I want to. I don't want one. I want. I, I want to play with the the opposite kind of mindset. You know, knowing that. Uh, also, you lied to me. The God of War. How long the beat? Nine hours. Yeah, you can play God of War one, two, and three as like prequels, pretty much. Yeah. It almost it almost feels like that would be perfect. Like, like playing one, two, and three, and then four is great. And I will all. say it'll be curious to see your reaction of like going back and having never played those original ones and just being like, "Oh man, this was kind of weird to see that's this is how that led into that." Um, just watching Kratos make the worst decisions ever in the first three games. It's just yeah. like it's not worse. It's not bad decisions. Like, oh no, now he now he's trapped in the in a dungeon. Oh no, now he's screwed. 
I mean, there's moments like that, but it's more like, oh no, now everybody around him is dead. He doesn't care though. So it's not, the, it's not a bad decision for him. He doesn't give a shit, but it's just like, it's, he could have negated all that bad stuff from happening. But he Kratos, just, are, are you sure you want to go rampaging through the under? No, oh, no, there, uh, there he just fucked up the life cycle. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh he did that. Oh, now the, oh, now the, the, now the t- tidal waves everywhere. Okay. All right. Cities are being sunken. Oh, uh, uh, the god of gods is here. He's gonna set. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, all right. That, mm. uh, is is uh, ascension? Was ascension? T- I know because uh, God of War ascension, ascension and. Skip. Okay, I know because God of War ascension and Gears of War uh, Judgment kind of came out at the same time, but everyone's like, just skip both. And, b- and both of them had like the... <sighs> the lowest review of the series. Yeah, and also the they both had. Not similar stories, but both of them were like completely useless in, when it comes to the stories. Like, yeah, they're like, I'm not even kidding. Like, Ascension is like doesn't add anything new to the to the lore at all. Yeah, um, you really only need to play one through three. So well, I shouldn't adds, adds bother with the uh, Chains of Olympus or Ghost of Sparta. So at least Ghost of Sparta, like, he, they introduce his brother. So it's just like, oh, that's Chains cool. of Olympus. Really so Chains of Olympus, needed. no, and then Ascension, no. No, it's not. Ne- it's not needed, but at least it's kind of cool. It's like, oh, we get to know more of his backstory. In Ascension, it's literally go here and do that. And we say it introduces what? Huh? You say Ascension introduces what? Oh, no, Ascension doesn't do shit. Oh, okay. I, I say uh, Ghost of Sparta, that's the second PSP game. At least introduces his brother. So it, it adds something like, oh, we get to know his backstory a little bit Chains more. of Olympus, I, I should skip? And Chains of Olympus is good, too. Yeah, play that. I mean, Ascension I don't Ascension is I, the one you should skip. You should just play the first three, to be honest. Just like you don't need, you don't need to play the PSP games. Just play the. First I'll see how much I like the series. If I like them, I'll go back. Just yeah, play the first one. The first one actually holds up pretty well. I, I played it a little while ago on the uh, Vita. Okay. And it was... Yeah. I'll probably do that. Uh, so let's talk about God of War 2018, though. Uh, yeah. David, uh, impressions. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So my initial thoughts, uh, I was really excited to actually play this, hence why I basically fucking played it as soon as Gore announced that we were doing it. And then uh, it scolded was... us for like, oh, you guys haven't played it yet, even though you played it five weeks in advance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was really excited to play it. Like, I, I loved the original God of Wars on PS2, and I played God of War 3 on uh, PS3 and all that. And it's one of those things that, my initial impression of God of War uh, 2018 can basically be summarized in this of why does Kratos have this is weird he's not just angry all the time (laughs) all right well there's boy okay I I, I remember him having a boy I mean he had one but you know never came back Uh, I thought he did originally have I thought he had both he had Calliope maybe he did maybe he did but Calliope is the one I always remember because yeah because I could have sworn he had both a son and a daughter originally maybe he did I don't remember uh, but then it's like, all right, well, that's going on. Huh. I wonder if they'll do anything with that. Ah, whatever. And then playing it through, it was kind of an interesting thing of like, you know, my Norse mythology is kind of rusty, but, you know, I, 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 I was a mythology kid in high school. It's like, oh, that'd be kind of neat if that went into, you know, what could potentially happen later. Later happens. Oh, that's, that's the direction they took. And uh, it's one of those things that this game is kind of interesting because it does... Uh, a really good job, not only just rewarding God of War fans, because you get to see a whole different side of Kratos, uh, like Gore was saying. It's very bizarre to take a character like Kratos <laughs> that was just a living vengeance boner uh, and just actually making a very sympathetic and uh, very heartwarming, honestly, considering story and seeing the progression that goes through. And honestly, it was really cool to see a game that also rewarded uh, people that had mythology knowledge, because there was a lot of things set up in that game uh, in the very beginning. And as you kind of go through where it's like, I kind of remember that character, like the very first kind of villain they introduced. It's like, huh, someone that can't be. Yeah. uh, Yeah. It was like, all right. I vaguely remember a guy that could be beaten. Wasn't he beaten by like Loki or something? And then there's, like, that thought that kind of clicks in the back of the mind. And then there's other things uh, and other comments made throughout the game. And it's like, huh, I remember that being associated with Loki. Interesting. And then you have that thought of, you know, where is Loki in all this? And, uh, yeah, and the game does a very good job rewarding you for those kinds of thoughts, uh, which I really appreciated. Uh, the The combat was the weirdest thing to get used to. The older God of Wars were very just 
fast paced, crazy action. It was like more, it was more Devil May Cry in style. Yeah, and definitely. that, uh, and this was kind of not quite Souls like, but it was that weird in between of like a Devil May Cry and a Dark Souls, where it's like it's still ve- much more methodical and you can't just go wildly swinging, but at the same time, you kind of need that same level of speed. And uh, it was absolutely rewarding fucking gameplay. I played I, it on hard and I had felt a hell of a good time with it. I felt the controls. I never got the controls down. Like, it was even, like, after the end, there were times where I just started fucking up the controls, I feel like. Because I felt like yeah. at some point, like, just there were too me many. There's too many hold this trigger to hold this out. And yeah, then me hold too. This, like, hold the, the, the bumper the to hold this abilities. out. Yeah, and I would just start throwing stuff or then, like, I would mistime things. So, like... Uh, when I was trying to throw an axe, I would just do a heavy slam down. There, it. I get that that's that's a lot of user error, but I feel like that's also there was just so much just flip like flickering back and forth of just things that I just. And I'm not saying it's bad, but I I definitely had a lot of a lot more mistakes than I have in in games in general. Just even by the end of like 20 hours, I'm like I feel like I shouldn't be like having missteps like this. I feel like it may be like out of quick curiosity. Did you guys switch up your runic abilities a lot or yeah. no? Yeah, well, not a lot, a lot, but like whenever okay. I got be- when I got a better one that had like a better like stats and also a better like for all my well, not even just the the rune the runic stuff, but just like um like the the, the socket things you could put into your armor. The socket stuff, I, I, I swapped out a lot. Yeah, I swapped out a lot. Uh, the runic ones I did just to try them out because I'd be like, oh, that one's cool. You could uh, like throw your uh, your axe and it creates like a storm around you. And it's like, oh, that's cool. And I want to switch one uh, around. Now this one does like a ground pound or whatever. Um, this one, you throw the axe out and just like stays in place and just fuck some guy up while you're doing something See, else. Yeah, I, I kept that one and I kept the large slam down that froze people. Yeah, slam down. But I kept those two I like the, the one entire where you just, like, time. Make a giant, make a giant slash in front of you and just like, Creates yeah. like a giant like slash. That I look at them. I I just love the two attacks that I had. It's like I kind of kept them. Yeah, because yeah, like, I would I'm always switch them out just a bit. Because uh, I didn't bother trying out most of them. Because I'm a creature of habit. Once I find something I like, I just stick with it. So I wonder if maybe that could potentially. No, I stuck why, with it. Is it didn't bother me at all. I thought they were. No, you and I did the same. I, I I stuck with it, but I just think it was uh. I I think it was um, just a little bit too much uh flickering around with the holding things down and pushing that yeah just uh, there was only a few times where i was just like i was getting swamped i played on normal i didn't play it on hard but um normal sometimes it, it would mess you up so there's just times where i'm just like i'm getting a little flustered and i'm just like <laughs> Ooh, i'm just trying, i'm trying to do my runic ability but i'm fucking throwing my axe my and then i i, I I'm getting my ass beat i'm pressing the wrong button to bring the fucking axe back i'm like all right cool and i'm just getting destroyed i only died a Four or five times in the game. One yeah, of them I did a lot. A puzzle. <laughs> I did a lot. Well, you played on hard. I didn't yeah. play on hard. <laughs> yeah, I play. I, I maybe I died more. I don't know. That, that's the only times I remember. And one of them was like I died. Well, actually, that's not true. I died twice on puzzles. One of them was during one that you sink. I'll just say that. And I was just like, uh, I'm trying. I don't fucking understand this. Uh, and then another one was uh, I saw blade kill me. Uh, the one that slow. really started to begin my adventure of dying fucking constantly uh, was when you go into this temple and you have, like, all the different little rooms that have the challenges to kind of clear and I'm trying to not to get in spoiler territory just yet, but you have the one that has, like, the cats I think we can go into spawn. spoiler territory. We're, we're, this, is, this is a game that, if, if you're not at this point, we're just going to, we're spoiling things. Right, we, don't wanna, we don't want to, we don't want to limit a, a, a a discussion and potentially yeah. forget yeah. where we're at. Yeah. So when right. Atreus Fine. dies, Fine. officially uh, full sports territory. So that temple where you have to go, f- where you first fight like the giant tree ancient, um, inside of there, and you had the kind of different rooms that had like the one had like the hag, and then one had the cats and everything. That cat room was the beginning of me starting to die a fucking lot in this game because that thing one shot every time, and there was fucking three of them. Fuck, that was a pain in the ass to get through. But the witch characters? No, the witch characters were fine. That was just a matter of patience. The cats were what fucked me up most. The cats. I don't even think I got to that. Are those the ones that dig into the ground? No, they literally just look like fucking giant panther things. Actually, no, they were wolves. Oh, wolves. Okay. Yeah, wolves. Yeah. My brain was thinking. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So, question. Before we, and we'll we'll get into um, more story stuff, but like, how, how, 
far into the game did you guys start attacking the Valkyries? Oh, oh it's all like last, everything else. La- last five hours. I only, I, fought, I only fought one, and that's one of the times I died. I beat the game first, and then I did the Valkyries. I only, beat I got one, through I only did one Valkyrie. Because I, I tried doing it the first time I fought it, and I'm like, well, that's not happening. Yeah. And then I ran into some other guy on top of a place, and I got fucked up there. But I, I was always very adamant that if a, if a fight looked doable... Even if I got fucked up, I would sit there and just mash it out. So there were some fights that I sit there for like 40, 45 minutes, just like dying over and over again. But I'm like that close. And I'm like, I'm super under leveled, but I am that close to finishing it. And there was, then I would eventually do it. But I mean, I was like, totally kind of ran off, done that, and then came back later. But I'm like, I'm going to either forget about this plate or not want to do it afterwards. So I'm going to do it, it now. It ends up being better if you do it later anyway. Yeah, because I already knew the Valkyries were going to be a nightmare because that's one of the few things that people that talk about this game still today are always like, no, no, the Valkyries are really fucking hard. So it's like, I'll beat the game. Well, first, they, so and they mentioned that. that too. Like, they point out specifically at the end. They're like, hey, we can free those yeah, Valkyries at the end. Legendary favors, they call them, or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah so I mean, they, they, they make it a point that those Valkyries are kind of like an end game thing or post game yeah. thing, but. But I, I actually had a lot of fun. Like it was almost like turning up the hard mode when I was like, I need to, I want to really beat these guys just to. Yeah. Also, out of quick curiosity, which weapon did you guys use the most? Oh, oh, oh! Can we talk about that? Yeah, actually, yeah. Let's talk about that eleven out of quick. ten moment. Cause right. no shit. Oh my god! Right when he, oh. right when uh, I think it was Freya that said you need yep. a different weapon. And, yes. And then I just zoomed in like, on oh, face. Gonna happen? I was like. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, oh shit! We get in the blades of chaos. That's awesome yeah. that you guys haven't had that spoiled too. Um, I kind of did, but not like, really. I, going into it, that... uh, can I, hold on, what, really quick. I had, I have an issue with you, Gore. What? It's just a personal no. issue. All right, fucker, go ahead. I need you to stop saying spoiler alert after someone's a spoiler, just in case that they're paying attention, because <laughs> this is totally off topic. I've been trying so hard the last week to get the uncut. No, not the uh, the. Um, what's the other okay. fucking movie? High time or uh, good time? Okay, I was thinking High Life. Uh, I've been trying so hard to get that fucking good time spoiler that fucking Kyle said. Yeah. Because I wasn't listening. You know, I zoned the fuck out. I don't listen to half the conversations that we have. But because you said, oh, that's a spoiler, and <laughs> my brain oh. all latched on to that so No, fuck. but if you had never said that, I would have not even I'm thought about it. So you don't listen to the motherfucker. Like, but, but I wouldn't have even heard that. But because you said spoiler, my brain's like, what? And then I, it's, I, not, I, it's not even really that much of a spoiler. Anyway. I'm trying to forget it, so I'm going to watch it next year at this point. I'm fucking pissed. I, I was so mad. <laughs> we, had, we had a call. And that's, I've not, been... that's not, that's no, not I, a big and, deal, bro. That's I know. not why the movie's great. <laughs> I know, but now I just want to forget it. But you're not going to, so I don't know. I know. I'll there was. Sure, I had. Sure I won't, and you'll never fucking watch it. <laughs> there was okay. a uh, a Life is Strange spoiler that someone told me a, a while ago, and I'm slowly forgetting it because now I'm like it involves this person, but I forget what happened now. So I'm like, I'm getting there. It just took about a year and a half or two years to get there, but I'm trying so hard. But I was, I was just so mad. Trying to forget that Darth Vader is Luke's. Oh shit! Sorry, never mind. Yeah. <sighs> But no, like uh, I actually had that somewhat spoiled for me because I looked up the trophy list because I'm Stop like, ah, maybe doing I'll that. try 100 percent that. Uh, and so I, I had, had that kind of spoiled, spoiled for me. and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna call somebody out. Okay. Yeah, I know IGN spoiled it, but I didn't know that until after because I watched a playthrough after this, after I was done. Not a whole playthrough, but I watched all like the reactions to People it. Do reactions. And, and, and what, yeah, okay, I want to see the reactions. And one of them, and one of them in their in the chat, someone said like, "Hey, IGN spoiled this," and then they went off like, "Fuck IGN." But um, that's not what I'm saying. But you know, whatever. um, that's really annoying that IGN spoiled it in their review, though, supposedly. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, one of my favorite channels, Red Lair Media, they have a, a, a oh a game, no, a, they have a gaming section. I guess they don't do they don't do videos anymore, but they did, and they review God of War, and I watched their review, and you just see Kratos using the Chaos Blades, just using them. I'm like, wait, what? Well, what the fuck? They don't they don't say spoiler alert. They didn't, they didn't say like um, anything. Then they even show a cutscene of him getting them. So oh, that's so I fucking. Had, I had it just... kind of spoiled because I thought maybe that was gonna be like an unlockable thing, like a, just a fun thing. Oh, okay, hey, so at know? least you got that. It was a cool story moment. I stopped. I stopped it immediately when, yeah. when I saw that. I was like, I'm that not is... 
such a beautiful buildup because you have that moment where, uh, like you were, like you were starting to say, it's like, oh man, there we need to go. You need to go into hell, and you know, there's just no fire that we have here that's just powerful enough to endure the you know freezing temperatures there. And I was like, Chris, just like, like <sighs> I got a weapon. I'll be right back. Give me a weapon. And I <laughs> you just that have they... that somber boat ride the whole way where Athena's taunting you. Yeah, and Athena... it's just like. Oh, I so know I'm assuming that was the payoff man. if you had played the prior games. <laughs> oh, it's when such Athena an shows amazing up, it's just, payoff. Yeah, you because know, Athena in, in the first three games is the one like urging you to continue. Like, go ahead and do this, do this next, Kratos. Go, yay! Like vengeance, right? Because it, it helps her in the long run. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say anything else, but you know. Uh, not, much but, to, not much to spoil now in God of War one, two, or three because you saw what, you know, what the reveals were in this game. Right, but, uh, it's more the God moments one, two, I'm kind of going for there. Is God of War one, two, and three is about the moments, not the story. I will say. Yeah. But um, this game uh, when Athena showed up, I was up, assuming that that was, you know what that that gave me, and this is totally the most vague way I could say it's about Red Dead two. It gave me that one horse ride vibe, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what kind of was like thinking. I was like. It kind of feels like it kind of has like a reminiscing feel to it. And I'm just missing it because obviously I've not played yeah. these other games. That, that basically was an entire allusion to the original uh, games. And it was such a powerful scene. So that's why I'm kind of curious to see how you go back and react. Because as you know, people that played the original God of War, this, this was like a huge fucking thing of, oh shit. We were, we've been getting used to like, dad kratos this whole game and now he's going back he's he's gonna be angry boy again and i will say that axe is still super fun even toward like the end of the game like there there is no point in which the axe is not fun but like even the the whips are just so fucking oh yeah the chaos plates are so fucking good i that's why they're one of the best i got those i did not stop using them unless i had to oh well the axe i would use just like because I was using the chain, I mean the uh, the blades too long. I was just like, I need to switch back to the. I love. I, did you guys have? The, I forget the battle was a side mission or a main mission, where it was swapping between the elements. So you had yes. to swap between yeah. your axe and then the uh, the blades. That was super fun. I thought that was a really cool. I could be wrong. I think that was main. That was a side one. Was that side? Okay, I, I know what you talk about. I was just that was super fun. I was like, that was no, super cool. To... No, wait, no, that that was the main. That was what's his name, Boulder, right? Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boulder, because. Because he would he would switch back to fire and then ice That's and stuff. Right, yeah. I thought that was fun to like kind of like you had to swap between your weapons and. Yeah, that was awesome. I do wish it was a little bit quicker to switch because it feels like like you put the axe back and then some. And get... Yeah. I wish it was just like I wish it was just like, and then you just keep. Switching. Yeah. And then I, I feel like and... he immediately wraps them around and pulls yeah. out. The and then I feel like the um for the speed I feel like there I feel should like... have been better combos in between like to switch in between and stuff I I, I guess there was kind of that but it was and then I feel it like wasn't as snappier. it it, okay. it wasn't snappy and then um sometimes you would get so quick trying to do it that you would just put the, everything away and then you're just like fists up and I yeah, was like you just yeah. people up your fists, yeah. which, that's cool too I mean I like I like going I, I like going you know but I wish it was just snappy yeah, I wish I wish it was way to sometimes. Yeah, I wish it was like at their face and then beat their fucking dick in I wish it was like I wish it was like left is is axe right is blades and down is just nothing and that's the only way you could swap between those three instead of like you can double click this to like put this away or double click that i felt like no just just give me a way to snap it back and forth but i will say though yeah i I agree i wish it was way snappier and just i don't know but i will say this uh i love the blades but when it comes to range they kind of suck because i mean oh yeah it's all about crowd control with that you you could do that scorpion shit and bring them over but i yeah when you're trying to aim at stuff you're like I'm close enough, and then you throw it at something, and it just doesn't hit it. I'm like, I wish it would give you a notification on whether or not I would hit something, like a, a really clear one, though. Like, yeah, like a much clearer one. Yeah, yeah cause, because um, it, it would, it would like show the little icon thing. That was that too small for in the middle of but, everything. But it would also show it, and I would throw it, and it wouldn't hit. I'm like, you know, it was. And super... then there's times where it wouldn't show it, and I would throw it, and it would connect. I'm like, you know, my I, favorite I, thing though was with the with the blades is that when you do that, and then you hold it, and you could like whip them with a giant blast, it just blew everyone up. I'm like, yeah, right. you could both like. The fire. Yeah, I like keep, I like grabbing the same guy over and over again, just doing that. <laughs> oh, it's really good. You know, what I love doing is uh, the little nightmare guys. Is that is Driving that one of those? Yeah, the nightmare guy. Where they yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking know. You do, the little floaty guys, the balls. Nightmare, you yeah. just grab one of them and just fucking toss them over to somebody else, and they explode. I'm I like, toss yeah, them over another nightmare. Yeah, li- yeah, little nightmare, whatever they call. Um, did, so that was the moment that you were talking about, right? Where you were like, I oh yeah, for like 
Oh yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. For like five minutes <laughs> until he got him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because immediately the, the zoom in, he's just like he knew he knows what he has to get. And they also in the beginning of the game, uh, when he tells Atreus to go into the he basement, and you, you never let me down yes. here. Yeah, you never let me down there. And and then when he like goes in the house, I'm like, he's oh, like, that's where they are. Brown, <laughs> don't you fucking touch anything down there. It's like. Oh, okay. Can you imagine Trace comes up with these things? What are these? Because, <laughs> like, I love that line, too, but Trace is like, oh, is that a family heirloom? No. This is never not a be. family heirloom. It, it never um, will be. So, really quick, before we get into actual, like, deep talks about this, at the end, I missed something at the end. What was that ending that he, Oh, he the looked... home? You didn't go to the home? I didn't go home oh. afterwards. Was I supposed to? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, tell me what happened then. The I, I deleted I delete the game because I, I needed PS4. You deleted the game? I need PS4 space for other games. For what games? Which ones? I forget what I was starting to install. Give me a list. I, I have the disc. I can install, but I'm not going to. What, what happened? All right, all right. This is what happened because it's pretty badass. Maybe you should just watch it. I don't know. Should we talk yeah. about it? Right, I, can, I can awesome. put the video. We can put the video. We, we can put the video. Okay, well, I'll wait, 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 say wait, wait. this. It's, all right. Let's, put the, let's watch oh, it. You want to watch it? Oh, yeah. Put, What's what, what, what? up with the sequel. All right, what do I need to type? God of War. Epilogue ending epilogue because it's not an ending it's the epilogue yeah. sure but it's barely an epilogue you just i went straight home and it got me oh yeah the music let's listen to that is it whoops oh hey, actually no it was that thor secret this thing right there yeah yeah oh well, shit i think i did, right I, did there, so. I did fuck up <laughs> that's fine it's still cool all right let's see this all right let me move this shit that's gonna be put in the fourth quadrant right yeah there you go all right there you go so now you're really getting fucking spoilers if you Time didn't to uh, pay attention up I'm to the point. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Yeah, you can go straight home after, even though their home looks like shit. But this is the only part that kind of annoyed me when you go. Oh, okay, this will do. Mimir's. MVP. I fucking loved Mimir in this whole game. God damn, that was Way great. Ahead of you. Yeah. All right, this is the only part I don't like. You'll see. Years later. Yeah, it's a little silly. Watch, just watch. Who's that? Good ball. Years later, he looks the same. That's <laughs> weird, yeah. Alright. Wait, wait. Oh, that's where the roll credits were. Yeah, the real yeah. credits. I was wondering, present day. Well, that's well, weird. This is, after, this is after it goes back to the game. Uh, I yeah, say that's that, a little I mean, weird. They explain right here that it was a dream. Oh. They explain it right here. Uh, uh, Trey says, I had a weird dream. Yeah, Wait, watch. He said. I had the weirdest dream. Okay. Fimba Winter was ending. And Thor came for us. Here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like prophecy, I guess. The future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today. Oh, oh my god. Um. That. Why does it? Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Why it's years, but then they should have aged him up. I know it's, it's just, a it was little just weird, but that, that was pretty been, badass, though. It could just been. I guess it makes sense because they don't want to say to, like. They don't want to make it seem like it's the next day if it's going to be a yeah. prophecy, right? It um. <laughs> So wait, did you guys did you guys know to go to the house? Yeah. No, I just went to the house. I was just like because I was going to the house because I think I had something else to do there, um, and I wanted to see if they would say anything like any dialogue because I, I I immediately knew they talk pretty much any point in the game, which is really cool. You can go anywhere and they'll have new things to say, which is cool. Um, like Mimir will I say. I plan to go fucking... back to it eventually, but I, I want to get through other stuff. I have a lot of other games to get through. Yeah, and 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 I opened the door. I was like, and then it's just like, let's go to bed. I'm like. I'll go to bed. I'm tired. How, so, we, um, how how just, how hyped were you over that? That he slept with like Mimir's head. <laughs> how does he, his... dude? How has he not crush that head every time he falls like fifty feet from? Uh, it's a strong head, man. Um. Also, next to his ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Mimir um, probably doesn't. He can't smell anything. Anymore. Um. So so I'm guessing you guys got fucking hyped over that. 
Oh yeah, I got oh. real fucking hyped. <laughs> like fucking Thor. I I, I knew it was Thor immediately because of the thunder, and then they yeah. showed Mjolnir. I was like, oh. <laughs> Did you think it was gonna be a boss battle like, for oh, a man, second? Make this happen. I need it. I need this God of War too. Let's go. They do line up a lot of things that are are lined up, but no, no. What I was asking for is when he looks behind the tapestry. What was that? I missed that. Tapestry. When he's watching, he's in the trays like this is us. This is a whole prophecy that like, oh, story. Oh, that. Oh, you missed uh, a part where it, it, it's him dead. Uh, yeah. Kratos is dead, and uh, Atreus is holding him. So okay, that's what it was. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't recognize that. I couldn't see what it happened was. in this game. I thought it was just. I thought right when I saw that it was going to happen like twenty minutes later or so okay. in the game. Um, but no. I, okay, I couldn't. I could. I couldn't tell what else that was. Came true. So. Uh oh. Which actually talking about that tapestry that kind of goes now that we're in full spoiler territory. That was one of those things that I was mentioning earlier of like, man, where is Loki in this game? Huh? Yeah. Loki is the one that killed Baldir originally. That's interesting. Huh? I wonder if we know that. And then Atreus talking earlier in the game of like, oh, I wonder if I can turn it to animals and shit. It's like, you know, I remember Loki could do that. I wonder if Loki will appear. And so many other little lines of dialogue throughout the whole game. It's like, yeah, that's all shit Loki would do. Where is Loki? And it's like, Oh, his original name was gonna be Lo. Oh, yeah. He's low. Oh, I was I was pretty low key. You get what I mean? Ah, fucking got him. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I do I do find that moment to it reminded me a lot of like Dark Knight Rises. Mm. You you remember that with uh, Robin? Dark Knight Rises. Who's like I really like your name, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> he's like Robin, and they just look at the camera. He's just like Loki. That's me. Yeah, I did like the really elegant way of putting the 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 main credits on the way back. Mm. Um, yeah, also, really also, nice. I will say this. Um, my biggest pet peeve in video games is when I have to stand there and let the dialogue run, knowing that the yeah. dialogue is going to get cut off. When you're on the boat, you, you yeah. don't want it to end yet. So yeah, but but wait. I will say, so Red Dead does it a lot. Red Dead, if you're like sprinting somewhere, you'll get cut off and you will not have that dialogue anymore. Um, at least when you were in the That's open world. True. Well, Red Dead, there's a maybe there'll be t- just like with GTA Five, they'll do a thing where you'll le- be like, anyway, what were you saying? And then it'll continue the dialogue, won't they? Main like like main missions when you're like well, the side missions too, I think. I I, I don't sure. I think sometimes it got cut uh, off. May, maybe but, you're right. I don't but uh, so they did the the whole like cut that off. But I feel like it was really paced well for you to walk through. I feel like games do not ever account for the pace that you're gonna walk through, and when you get to the end. The dialogue ending there. I feel like people just dialogue, and then they're, you're standing there, and you're like, "Well, I, 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 I don't know if the dialogue is gonna get cut off, so I'm gonna stand right here in front of the door like an idiot." But at least God of War did do it, so that way they do go back to it. Like they if you're ever back. in the middle of a story, like, like that's a story uh, for another time or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll finish this later. Which and then as you like... go boating back out, Trace will be like, "Hey, by the way, fucking decapitated head, what were you saying earlier about this story is not appropriate for me?" He's like, "Oh yeah, I was in the middle of a story. Let me tell you about this time here." Um, so story wise, so yeah, I felt um, again not having any context behind God of War. I knew he was, I just knew he was a dick, and that then I gave a mini review. If uh, people have been noticing on Twitter, I've been keeping track of every game that I played through this year, and I gave a, just a, a Twitter length review of it. Um, and this one, I I even acknowledge. I'm like, this is a shocking reboot that they've done that they were able to yeah. do what they did with the with a uh, franchise that I've never played, but I know is notorious for like. I've never heard anyone say they like Kratos. Yeah. Like, and it's not not necessarily like people I mean, can people can, people can think he's cool, sure. right? And they can like him that, but not like genuinely like Kratos, you know? Um, no, no, no. Yeah, there's nothing redeemable, really. The only redeemable thing is that he kind of cared about his family, but the first five minutes of God of War one, he murders his family. So, right. And then fucks a bunch of random women. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have mini games. Of course, every God of War. I mean, not this one, obviously, but imagine this one. I just a random <laughs> boy. <laughs> mini. Stay here. I got this. Stay here. Take care of. Um, There's some ladies over here. Yeah. Freya. Yeah, Freya. <laughs> Literally the only one that you yeah. saw. I was actually kind of expecting well, something to happen with Freya with uh, Kratos there, but uh, now considering was it was a journey for the mom, I didn't think anything was going to happen. I think that would have been a little bit too. I will say I don't really like what they did with her character later in the game. I, th- I think it was a. I-, I get it, but it was like way too quick and way too sudden. Of a it should have been more. It should have been more subtle. It should have been more subtle because I feel like fit, but. It, no, it did fit. It was a little too quick, though. It was like it was like from sixty. It was like sixty percent the way there to you know, 
and then 100 percent was like okay and they mentioned they mentioned the the sun yeah and I immediately you know who it is so i was just like okay of course uh and then you know later on yeah yeah you find out um i guess we're i guess we're in spoilers it's boulder I guess. yeah yeah, no, we're, we're way in spoilers. Which, again, if you know mythology, you can know that anyways. But um, uh, that's what I was talking about earlier. It's like, I, I really appreciated how they tried to keep it as much as possible to mythology. Because there was a lot of story beats that's like, oh, okay. That's, I remember that in mythology. I wonder if it'll happen the same. Oh, yeah, it happened the same way. Okay. So, yeah. uh. That, that was the one thing about Loki. Doesn't, isn't, in, in the mythology, Loki is like part giant, right? Yes. He okay. is half giant. That's one thing. How do you not Thor... fucking conclude this on your own? Huh? How does David not conclude this on his own at some point? What do you mean? How well, do you... They don't tell you he's half giant until later in the game. Well, so, it was one of those things that was. No, they... before look. They... I, I wasn't expecting Atreus to be half giant. Cause but they say he was. was. They say he was. Five minutes before they. Yeah, but I'm saying you still didn't know that by like even like a minute before they 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 revealed that. Well, because, like, I, again, it's going off of pre-established God of War. I'm like, why, how, why would I ever think Kratos' wife in Greece would be fucking half-giant from this area? It's yeah. one of those things that it's like, yeah, they moved here at some point probably to hide from the few remaining fucking Greek gods Kratos didn't fucking kill. And it's like, all right, well, it makes sense. She fell in love with this place after moving here. Whatever. They have no connection to this area prior. Whatever. Moving on with my day. And then it's like, huh. Okay. All these comments that are aligning with Loki. Yeah, where is he, by the way, anyways? And it's like, it, it just didn't click in my head that it's, that's what they were hinting to because going off pre-established God of War, everything had to do with Greece. I would not assume anything having to do with prior God of War would have to do with Greece or would have to do with what's going on here. Right. That's um, I, I, I get it. You're just, you're slow. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking punch you, kid. Go ahead. I dare you, bro. Punch, punch your camera. See if that hurts. Yeah, him. punch my camera. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest. <laughs> that was the dumbest like fucking transition I've ever seen. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking all basically since I got home tonight. Yeah, and he also <laughs> talking about Kratos being pissed. Um, yeah. So the the story for me it was it was I knew the context of Kratos, but I didn't get the dude. It was a, it was a hard game for me to get through, just because I feel <laughs> like I was I was not in the mood for God of War and the characters because I didn't have that connection or not knowing the transition. It was hard for me to grasp that connection right away. You know, every other character, every other story has like a narrative of like a parental figure and a, a younger person. Yes, it's a lot yes. easier to cap it, it's it's because you got likable people right away, right? I didn't it's like a very trace. Similar to Last of Us. Yeah, but even then, I liked Joel at the beginning. I like there was because because you know yeah, why? It's because yeah, because, because really the fucking the very the very first well, because Last of Us, it made sense to have that because it's a character we don't know yet. If Kratos in the first ten minutes had a really sad scene where he lost his daughter, spoilers for Last of Us, um, then you'd be like, okay. But I played three games. No, 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 but no. But I get, but, I the, but, but the intrigue came from you guys knowing the transition right off the bat, right out the gate. You guys see that transition, you know, where it's a lot more of a yeah. repressed Kratos, you know, I didn't have that. Yeah. So it just felt to me like this guy, this is a guy that was like very upset, but like holding it in. And then Atreus, who was so fucking annoying for a long time. And my God, <laughs> My he, God, he oh, good, dude, yeah. that moment where he becomes, I mean, everybody, I'm sure. Everybody dude, I, dick. I, I he literally, he's a God. I wanted him to die. <laughs> like, I dude, yes. dude, uh, uh, legitimately. Like I was like, if they keep this, cause they, they were like going overboard with how much he was fucking saying stuff. Like yeah. it was to the point where Whatever. I was like, they need to fucking stop. Cause I swear to God, this last another hour. I'm, I'm going to like, not like this game. Cause it was so that, and I get that maybe that's what they were going for. And that's why. It worked out. That's probably the the benefit of the game, you know, that they made this character that I was like, all right, he's he's kind of annoying. He's a fucking kid, but like to the point where I was like, I I'm fucking until that moment. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I, I had no issues with them. Right you know, no, no, no. But I'm, I'm saying he's like more than I like Kratos until he, that moment. He, it's because he was overly talkative at times, but he he talked for Kratos a lot too. You know, that was kind of where it was coming from. But what I'm saying is that 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 connection didn't get to me until it. Until Kratos finally started giving in, which is again like you guys, that was uh, the peak for you guys to know like, oh, he's finally t like the 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 you see like right when he started like about ready to pat the kid, then he doesn't. 
Yeah, like yeah. start, you know, my start second, going down there. My second favorite scene in the game is the wine scene. Yeah, yeah, that's a good scene. That, so good. And you get the, like <laughs> the the the, the subtlest fucking smile from Kratos. Yeah, just <sighs> like oh yeah, have a little bit of this. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when he does the ah, oh, so yeah. Good. No, one, like I, one thing I will say though, right after that is when he becomes a dick. So. Yeah, <laughs> like I say, it was hard for me to get through just because of that, and then I was already still like pretty tapped from from Red Dead. I kind of wish his space was out like knowingly ahead of time, yeah. um, because it was hard and like find that balance. And again, very slow start, I think. Uh. I don't know if you guys think that. To how where it went, I don't. I don't think it's that slow. I think you just think that because you played it like four times. Yeah, but, probably. <laughs> At some point, but, I'm just like, God damn, I need to stop fucking fighting this guy. I didn't. I didn't mind the end. I mean, the ending. What the fuck? The beginning at all? But I think the ending is no. definitely way like the last half. I would say, right when you get, right when I, I would say, right before you fight Boulder again, the second mm. round, I guess. Which is like maybe seventy percent of the way through. From there, there on, it's just like fucking. I mean, you could do side missions and stuff, but it just feels like the story doesn't like let up at yeah, all. Yeah, that's why. Like, that's why I take oh, my now time. Now this man. happens. Now you have to go over here. Oh shit, the bridge is destroyed. You have to go over here and get his eyeball. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like slow down. And, it, and it's pretty quick too, because I feel like games. A lot of games would have just been like, all right, like, like the specifically the uh, specifically the eyeball one. And when yeah. when you were going inside the snake, I was like, oh, they're gonna do something where it's like you're gonna open this chest. Oh, it's not in there. I'm gonna keep going down. Oh, it's not in there. Do that, but it was like yeah. straight up, like, "Hey, here it is." I'm like, "Oh, cool, fuck yeah. it." And when you get a snake, of course, some some bad happens there, yeah. and then and then just from, like that's probably the most God of War moment there, where a giant just shows up out of nowhere and beats a giant snake down, and it's just like that's, I mean, that's like God of War three shit. Like in the beginning of God of War three, I love, I love, I love the world serpent. And I was pissed when someone fucking tried to punch it because I'm just, oh, sure. that, dude, that scene where where fucking uh, Atreus starts talking in his tongue and the fucking yes. world serpent comes back and. Just, I was about to get pissed if they killed it. I was like, "You motherfuckers! You better not I, kill the fuck." There's fucker. no way he's gonna die. He's like a god. So yeah. The way um, he, I mean, Freya. Well, can... he's like Titan level. It's above god even. I think. Well, they call, they, call, they call him. A, yeah, I guess so. But I think they call him a god a couple times. I think they. I think you're right. Because he stalemated with they... fucking Odin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that point. I'm I mean, like, yeah, that's all, that's what I'm saying. Because if he stalemated with Odin, there's no reason he should be getting killed right now. Yeah. yeah. And because um, can I also say that was one thing that was a little frustrating for this game. Like I know that there, it seems very obvious they want to make this another potential like trilogy or something, but it was so infuriating to have so many fucking like conversations about Odin. Like oh, Odin's eyes are everywhere, and you got the even the side quest to like kill all the little ravens of his, and so many mentions of Odin. It's like never see him. Where is he? Yeah. Where that motherfucker at? There's, there's I feel like that would have been you lose you lose the uh, symbol that hides you from Odin, and I'm yeah. just like, oh, now we're gonna see Odin. I'm, I'm yes. okay with not. You know, I, I was gonna say is I feel like that would have been a little bit too much overboard. I, I'm I'm super glad this game had a, a mission from the very first fucking like one minute of the game to the end, and that was the end of the game. You know, it was yeah. hey, the ash to the I'm highest sure. peak. Cool. There was never uh, like I was worried there was gonna be like. All right, once you put it there, then all of a sudden stuff goes bad, and we gotta go talk. I was like, no, I, I was fucking, I, I was happy that it was like the second that Ash went out there, that was the game. I was like, awesome. Yep. That was a mission from the very fucking first couple seconds to the end. Yeah, because right, right where you meet uh, Mimir, that's where you think you have to dump the ashes. I was like, okay, now what's gonna happen? Obviously, because that's what I was. Dead. That's yeah. what I was kind of worried for because I did. I, I yeah. feel like that kind of fucks up paces sometimes when you're like so dedicated on a specific thing. Like we have to do this, we have to do this, we have to do this, and then you don't. Yeah, I, I, Star Wars Jedi kind of had that. It does have like a like a because that's like the only other game I played in the last few months that's similar. It kind of has that in its story. It's just like it has a main objective, and then it kind of changes a lot here and there. Yeah. So it's still a main objective, but it's like it's like oh, now we have to do this and fight with the resistance and make sure they win. And they, here it's like you still have to go. You have to go here to get this thing, but it's always for their objective, which is get the hell up there and dump yeah. the ashes. Um, yeah. No. So I, I do like that. That there is a main objective. You just have to do other. No, things. I love I love when games do that. It's like yeah, hey, this yeah. is our objective. Get that. That's done. Yeah. Um. So before we go on to like watching some videos here, Brock and Sindri. Oh, Brock and Sindri is great. Fuck yeah, uh, I love that so much. Brock has oh, some man. of my favorite quotes. Dude, yeah, I, I can't. You, you I'm gonna I'm gonna look up some quotes. Little scrot, which is... I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Brock quotes. Well, he has one. Uh, when you don't buy anything at a shop, he just goes, 
ah, oh, what the fuck ever, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Like, that was, if anything, the only good thing to come out of the weird fucking god angsty fucking boy was the fact that it finally kicked Sindri's ass to be like, oh, maybe I should talk That's to true. my brother. Because, like, I really hated that moment of, like, we're gods. We don't give a shit about what your fucking mortal ideas. And it's just like, oh. I felt I'm bad. Sindri got his, his feelings hurt. And then whenever you're talking to him, he's like, you only come to see me whenever you want upgrades. Yeah. When you yeah. get on it's just like, oh, I guess, I guess I'll help you. I guess. Like, I, I actually thought that was really cool that they incorporated that into the kind of mechanics of like, oh yeah, now he's legitimately fucking rip shit of just like, oh, I, I'm defeated. And you know, and you know what? And it was can a good moment. Can we also mention that usually when we have a merchant character or or even two in a game, they're not incorporated into the story usually. Mm. And th these two, even though they're not a part of the like the main story, they still are in there, you yeah. know, quite a bit as key characters that just show up and help or show up to make a joke yeah. or whatever. And they have their own little arc. I, like I, I each other. I think it was like a good arc for the for Kratos too. When uh, at the beginning, Kratos like, "Fuck them, we don't need to deal with them." Yeah. But but then, but at the end, Trey's when when Trey talks shit, and then Kratos like. Hey, you shouldn't do that. That, that was kind of fucked up, man. I was like, yeah, that was like, because that was a great thing. Because like, even throughout, you know, there are other characters like uh, fucking dwarves and Chris. Like, no shit, can we just fucking not deal with these assholes? But then when Atreus is a dick, when boy is like, no, 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 fuck off, we're gods. Chris like, okay, you stepped out of line, kid. I will get the belt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like because no, because Chris saw himself in there and he's like. Yeah, and I, re I really am a dick. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and he also, and you can also tell he just doesn't like being, like, he doesn't like being a god, obviously. Yeah. So whenever Atreus says, like, yeah, we're gods, baby. We can do whatever we Which, want. He's just like. This is another thing that's just more so for Gore where you didn't play the other ones, Adrian. Man, I was not expecting that fucking Zeus scene in hell. Holy oh, yeah. shit. Oh, that was yeah. fucking crazy, and it's like because they kept making God comments Earth here, and, yeah, because they kept making comments here and there. It's like, oh, you're in hell, you're gonna face your worst things, and again, my brain's going, ah, oh, everything that happened to Kratos is in Greece, whatever. It's like, Zeus, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> and, shit, and then, you're haunting me here. Oh, and then Amir's oh. like, Zeus, oh sick. shit, this makes sense. <laughs> oh, Zeus, oh shit, here we go again. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so on and CJ's body. So but that, I just like that they did that replay of the God of War three scene where you, mm. you give him the beat down because <laughs> that's straight out of. And it was weird seeing God of War three Kratos in the new graphics. Yes. And with this new this Kratos voice actor is very strange. I was just oh, like, did they remaster the with Kratos, this guy? The other Kratos voice act, voice actor is very like like Ares. Yeah, this guy's like the anger perfect. Did did, I mean, did they? Is there a reason why they didn't just take that guy and like just tell him like? I, I I think they wanted somebody that would emote a little bit more. Where I mean, Kratos is obviously he emotes very well, but he only does one emotion, which is anger. I'm just curious. I, yeah, I, I, I'm curious if they actually tried to get that guy and it just didn't work out. I'm, I would I, I would know, hope actually, they did. That I don't know. That that's a good question. Um, because the last time we voiced him was only, I guess, five years before the last. But before this game came out, was I guess Ascension. Um, was it really that long? Yeah, yeah it's five years in between. It's been seven years since Ascension. Ascension uh, in between this new one and the last, because yeah, Ascension came out in 2013, I think. So let me let me. Uh, I'm looking up. A, in that I'm looking up an article. I'm looking up an article as to why. Um, I don't know. They probably wanted somebody with a little bit more like acting chops where I, I mean, I'm sure the, the guy that voiced him, I think the guy that voiced him was also in Final Destination two, which is, I know that's weird to know, but I, <laughs> I looked at him up and I was like, he was in Final Destination two. <laughs> like, All right. Oh, um, oh, interesting. Okay. So let's see. Uh, he says the reason, this is the reason why actually, and it's kind of actually weird. The size difference between Kratos and Terrence is, is very great. And offsetting that for a size of a child, Terrence. it turned out that's the guy, uh, um, Terrence Carson, was the voice actor of God of uh, Kratos. Right. Um, T.K. Carter, right? Right. I don't know. That's his name? I thought that was his name, T.K. Carter or something like that. Terrence Carson is his name in here. Okay. Um, but he goes, the size of it was great. So it, oh, the reason Carson. why it was it was um, Christopher Judge is because they could actually go in and actually shoot them toward appropriate animations. Right. Okay. Because apparently it was impossible to do animations. With, I know that. It was possible to do animations with someone that was like the same size. Right. But honestly, it was still a good choice. Uh, he did a phenomenal. Oh, Christopher job Judge is great. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, oh. So before we move on really quick again, I want to just pull up a couple of Brock quotes that I can yes. find really, really big. Um, let's see the first one. Oh, this one was actually going to want to rock, rock, rock. What? I'm on a fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that one. I'm taking a fucking break. Taking a fucking break, and then later on he says, "I took a break from my fucking break." Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sometimes, oh, sometimes, sometimes when you go up to him, he goes, "The fuck you want? The fuck you want?" <laughs> One of my other favorite ones, now that we're talking about this a uh, bit more, is also when you come back and Atreus is like, hey, where's uh, your beast of burden? He's like, oh, oh yeah. I hate him. I hate her. She's <laughs> fucking great with fucking sauce. It's like, and you, Atreus you is know? like, oh, my God, you hate him? He's like, yeah. <laughs> she she served you well. He's like, yeah, she served me well in my belly. She'll be great as fucking shit later. Why do I not remember that? I don't think I had that. Uh, that, that was one of the favors. Did you finish all the favors? I guess I, I missed one of them. No, I thought no, I did. I thought I did. I thought I did them all. But well, I guess I, I think, well, I got I got it when I talked to him. It was one of those like optional dialogue things. Yeah, I did. I thought I did all the the first ones. But yeah, I just missed he it. Does that. Um, there's a a nice footwork. You, nice footwork you got there. What did you do? Step in shit. <laughs> yeah, some good quotes, man. <laughs> Rock's good. Yeah. And of course, Sentry's whole character. <laughs> Dude, it was it was infuriating getting to the very end when he was like could not stop gagging. Yeah, let me just like you talking just, about the eyeball. Yeah, I, I just got the eyeball. Uh. All right, I, I get. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. Um. All right, let's watch the trailer here. Yeah. Sure. Let's see. Let's go back here. Yeah, while you're pulling that up, I will say that was another thing that was like kind of great is when you started to have those moments where it's like there was that very stubborn like, how, how is that wimpy fuck doing anyways? Or it's like, yeah, is he eating okay? I'm just kind of curious, kind of thing. We're just gonna watch a story trailer because I do know the um, the E3 reveal is long. It, yeah, it's just the beginning. You count the whole concert they did too. It's long. Yeah, so we're just gonna watch. It, it is story interesting trailer. watching the E3 one now because it is different. Right, like, it, like different things happen in it. So. Oh god. There do I see my mother. Oh there do I see my father. Oh there do they call to me. Oh there do they call to me. Oh there do they call to me. That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. Said I'd grow into it. Find your way home. You are free. We're taking our ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was our last wish. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. There's only one pass who can get you where you need to go. They call me Mamiya! Smartest man alive. First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? <laughs> the axe you got. <laughs> you gotta handle her special. Eh. I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? The longer you wait, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. You're not! Oh, oh these uh, that those that, that was so good. Yeah. Why? How do you know? How do you know? Power. Oh, this Wait, part. Is that the kid from midnight? Comes from here. Dude, that part where you just go Spartan rage when they take him. Dude, there's like there's like three the moments. The one that wields it. I loved every one of those. The Spartan rage right now, I'm like fuck yeah, I will. We need your help. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true yeah. nature, fights within him. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. Oh, yes. That's fucking scene man. going right to the Blades of Chaos. Oh. We are more than that. The responsibility. 
responsibility is far greater. Can you kill something that big? Yeah. <laughs> Play a first three game? <laughs> That is. Uh, that actually reminded 420! me. 420! Uh, that should have been another thing that should have tipped me off that, oh yeah, that should have been, uh, I should have realized that was Loki, was the scene where she's like, get rid of those fucking arrows. You can't use those, because that was actually part of the mythology too, was Loki tricked Freya to be like, oh, by the way, there's going to be something Baldur's Week too, and she kind of tricks her through conversation revealing exactly what the weakness is, and it's like, huh, that, that was another moment where, honestly, I really should have just kind of connected. It's like, oh, shit, that's Loki, because that's how Loki exactly figured out how to fucking kill Balder. See, I thought that was so, super clever. He doesn't try to trick anybody. Though, no, clear. but it, it's, no, to be fair, he doesn't. It's just like, oh, no, get, get rid of that. You can't have that. It's like, I was super oh, that clever, I thought. Later on, what happened. And but... also, that's the cool thing about this is because in, in, Kratos himself, is added into Norse mythology where he doesn't belong. So it mm. changes a lot of the stuff that's actually yes. happening. That's it. They even say that we're like, like Odin wasn't predicting you. <laughs> it's like, exactly. So like Loki could be a completely different character now where it could have been somebody different. You know, it could have yeah. been. The Loki and it was weird know. seeing Fenrir as a dragon. I was not expecting that. That was kind of weird. Oh yeah. That, that was cool. Cause um, you, you finally find him and he's a dragon, right? Yeah. Tur- he's the one that got turned, right? Exactly, because he was yeah. always traditionally like a wolf uh, icon. So I was like, huh, okay. all right, that's weird. I didn't so, know that, but... uh, yeah, um, and it'll also be kind of interesting to see like what they do with Odin, because that was another, that's another thing too. But Norse mythology is like uh, Odin is always iconically pictured on Sleipnir, which is a six-legged horse. But that's one of the sons oh, of yeah. Loki, because uh, that's the other thing too. That's kind of weird. Is uh, the uh, world serpent is a son of Loki. Uh, Fenrir is a son of Loki, and um, Sleipnir is a son of Loki. Oh, well, they said so, they said when what's his when they who when who fights at the end when it was uh, oh, Od- Bolder, Odin yeah. no Odin and the World Serpent that the the roots of the tree like oh the roots of the tree yeah. like time travel and shit like yeah so, so they're like, they're planning it somehow like that yeah so it was just kind of interesting. I think it was Odin and Thor, right? Was it was it the World Serpent? It, it might have been Odin and Thor. Well, when Thor battles the World Serpent for Ragnarok is when, uh, yeah. But the World Serpent always kind of keeps going back in time. and uh, But no, that was just in general kind of interesting where it's like, all right, well, we got Fenrir, who's the son of Loki. We got, you know, the World Serpent and we have uh, Sleipnir. Well, we didn't get introduced to Sleipnir. It's the only one to get introduced to. But I'm kind of curious if they will kind of keep with that. And if they will integrate that as like some kind of weird time travel shit, in which case it'll make me curious of how accurate Kratos's death will be in that tapestry we saw of like, maybe if we do get a God of War two and that's like how that one ends is boy kills fucking Kratos. But because of the time travel that gets set up because of the events of Ragnarok, maybe Kratos still comes back anyways. That, or... was, it, was it the boy killing Kratos or was it just no, Kratos dead? Boy, the, uh, Kratos, I mean, uh, Atreus is holding him. It looked like. So I don't think yeah. the boy is killing Kratos. I, I perceived, I took it as he killed Kratos, but oh. Um, because that's why I took it as him being that level of somber because there was like a pile of blood going up to that. And they they and... keep doing the whole like you kill how can a son yeah, kill Yeah, but that's a, that felt almost so heavy handed that I'm like whole side mission based on that too. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was that's so heavy handed that I'm like I'm hoping they don't do that because they were just like It didn't oh. look like he was killing him, but I could see that happening like he has so, to kill him for some reason. Predictions for God of War 2 which will happen and probably the hey, next like year. I think in the next year or two. I think it, it, there's no, a possibility it could be here next year. Here's my first prediction. During that PlayStation 5 reveal, they're going to announce God of War 2. Oh, my God. Well, there, there was... It's not going to come... It's going to be like The Last of Us 2 teaser, though. It's going to be like just a quick thing. Because like there, there, there were... There were uh, there was a rumor, which is 100% not true. Like, 0%. It was like, oh, PS5 is going to have Horizon Zero Dawn 2, God of War 2, and Spider-Man all at launch. I'm like, no. There's zero... Zero... Zero negative 90,000%. Imagine... But imagine if it did... I would hate that because I know I'm like PS5 doesn't have anything for the next like, year then because like what what do you get your three three biggest hitters right out the gate? Well, it also has Godfall. That's a launch title too. They they confirmed that the launch. Yeah, title, I know, but so. 
That I game does look fun. It does look good from the leaked gameplay. We should have talked about that, actually, because everybody, everybody's okay. talking about it. I heard, I heard people thought it was boring. That's why I didn't bother with it. I, didn't, I didn't think it looked amazing, but look, it, it, it looked fun. It, it didn't look like a next-gen game to me. It just looked like a really good-looking this No, gen but, game. I mean, it, it's early first. It fun. You know, the next-gen. I expect that of, like, launch titles for next-gen consoles. So, it's like, oh, it's like, eh. Before but, we get into, like, okay, before we get into, like, story predictions, do you guys think this game's coming out next year? God of War 2. No. I think 2022. Early. 2022? Yeah. God of War 2? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's coming out next year. Also, we'll wait, wait, can I, can I, re- I, think, can I rewind? I think it'll be early 2022. I, re- I think they'll announce it next month. Last of Us 2 got announced four years before it even came out. <laughs> so, yeah, I could but, but, the first time. I, but, but they were working on Uncharted 4 still. Huh? They are working on Uncharted 4 still, though. So? It was all hands on deck for Uncharted 4, and they're like, all right, now we're transitioning to, to Last of Us 2, whereas God of War, they've been working on this for at That's least a year two now. Years from now. But I don't see them using they the They just same got engine. done with God of War you don't. 1. You okay, then, then, if you it don't took see them, them five years to make God of War 1. Yeah, this game, I don't see them using well, that's the same it's all engine. it's a whole different thing. they got to nail everything about this being brand new. Sure, but I'm sure the next one's not going to be some half-assed thing. You know, it's going to yeah. be a thing. So I think for maybe the end, like way I end of next year, but I, I see early, I see the uh, early 2022, like just like this, probably like March or April. I'd be shocked if it missed 2021. I, I could see this being like a November title, 2021. Watch is a launch title. I, I, no, that's Her- like Horizon that. Zero Dawn is going to be a launch title, but I don't want to get into like all that. Sure, Horizon this. Zero Dawn, I don't give a shit. Well, sorry for my <laughs> games gone by. <laughs> that might be. Yeah, that, that was almost be, gonna yeah. be my games gone by, actually. Um, that, that would suck because I know that game will be a game I want to get into and complete as much as I can. And I heard that game's like over a hundred hours long. Yeah, that's why that. I, I didn't want to like, pick that for this one. I, I was. I don't want to play more PS4 shit. Please, my controller sucks. It has like three hour battery life every time I charge it now because it's old and I'll play PS4 enough to even give a shit about buying oh, a new one. Yeah. Like, please no. <laughs> it's like, Daddy no. Daddy, no. That was one problem I had with God of War. I would have to take like a couple hour breaks just to let my controller charge because I didn't have a long enough cable. I have a. Uh, I have that. Cable. I have that. The the PSVR holder, the one that that like charges the that has the charger dock on it. Oh, yeah. I have I have four controllers. So I was like, all right, pull one on charge and hold that one there. One. So so uh, oh, yeah. before before I, I three controllers. And, so. and again, I I hate to get. I have five Xbox One controllers. I have five Why? PS5 controllers or PS4 controllers. Because I got I got one free. I got two free uh, from Xbox One S or whatever, and then Xbox One X. And the Xbox One S also came with an extra one because I got a deal. So that's three right there. I had my original one. I have that Xbox. Oh, I'm sorry, six because I got the Xbox uh, OG Duke controller too. Technically. So, so, okay, oh, so we're, we're, stop, we're, to reel it back. Uh, wait, time out. Seven, because I got a uh, wired Kylo Ren Star Wars controller. All right, let, let's reel it back. Let's reel it back to God of War. Yeah. Um, so before we get into uh, next predictions for the next game, I do want to point out the cinematography, the camera. Yeah, it's so, all one shot. That was awesome. Yeah, super, yeah, super I, awesome. I did want I wanted to mention that. It's all one shot, which, I mean, is not as impressive as a movie, of course. Yeah, don't... Yeah, I mean it's a video. No, game. yeah, obviously. <laughs> but you know, good enough the camera work is fantastic. That. But it, it is, it's it's very it apparent, especially when you go to a different game. It's like, oh man, that was really well done. How they just keep it going. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's very, very, very well done. And I like that every cutscene doesn't cut away like a hard cut. It's just like the camera moves away fast too, and just and then it goes back. Yeah. It's it's great. It's seamless. I too. almost it's... went the whole game without seeing a character glitch where it's like obviously you have a trace of behind you needs to be like around there. Yeah. I only. Yeah, I went... like, well, I had a, I had a lot of times where a trace was like all the way over there because I'm running and I jump on a thing and I just see his ass go zoop and then jump onto my. Back. I, only, I only had that. I only had that. Well, I had no. I had the visible, the visual, uh, zoop part. Right. But I, everything else, it was not. So it was pretty well done. But um. I, I had sh- one glitch though that I want to talk about, but anyway, go ahead. Go, go for it then. No, it's during the the was it Modi and Mag- Magni, right? Magni and Modi. Yeah, awesome fight Bad by the way. Fight. Huh? Awesome fight. Yeah, Troy Baker and Nolan North voice them. By really? Way. Oh no shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Nolan North voice. I shouldn't Modi. be surprised they're in fucking everything. But you couldn't tell too. Actually, when I was listening, I was like, I couldn't tell it was them, and then I looked in the the fucking IMDb. I was like, who's Troy Baker and Nolan North? I had no idea. They do. I mean. Good voice actors. I don't know if you know that. 
but um, pretty good. And Troy Baker's in like every great. Troy game Baker ever. originally Kratos. Yeah, that's true. Uh, go, actually, he was in God of War Ascension, so as a some shitty character. I don't know. Anyway, but glitch. Um, I had a glitch. You know, that's the one where you have to like you're you're shielded up with a. a, a they're they're behind you like holding Atreus and stuff, and you have to like figure out where they're going uh, well my glitch when it goes into the whole black area with the fog and stuff and you have to like block them for some reason i, d- I didn't ha- i wasn't in the the guard pose at all so i was just walking around <laughs> i was like what the fuck is going on and i would <laughs> see modi and, and magni just like standing there and then they would just like disappear and glitch out i'm like what the fuck is going on i walk around and they start attacking me but they're not doing anything like every time they attack me kratos would immediately just block them I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I move around for like a good maybe two minutes of just like wondering what the hell's going on. And then I get, I guess I get to a point where the game decides to not glitch anymore and it goes into the pose. I'm like, oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And then the rest of the boss fight was perfectly fine where I have to, every time they do the hammer with the shield and blocks everything and stuff. I, I, like, I, like, the idea, like, I like the idea oh, of, I, you, of you doing that. You're like, man, this game got really abstract time, all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah, because it was it was weird because it was just like it said like move the camera and block their attack. I'm like, yeah, I know I played the game before. I know like, we moved the camera. I block. love I love in games when you come across a, a really early tutorial, but like 30, 40 hours into the game, yeah, you just happen to miss it. Yeah. Usually, like in Zelda games, it'll happen where if like you miss like a, a small little dungeon on the side, you come back and here's how to shoot your arrow. I'm like, that's how you walk. I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm getting through this game just looking using the camera. So okay, before we wrap this up, let's let's talk. What do you think is happening? If there's a, if there's a next game, and then if there's a trilogy out of this. Oh, second no one doubt we're getting Thor, a and the second one will be Thor. It'll introduce Odin, and then the third one you'll fight Odin. Yeah. Do you think Kratos dies second game? No. Yes. I think he dies third game. Halfway I- through. I think he dies halfway through second game. Actually, no. I think he dies at the end of second game. And then third, third game will be mostly about boy, and then halfway through we'll get Kratos. Because he thinks the time travel thing will happen. Yeah. Because I think what will happen is we will go through the story of Ragnarok, and it'll be at a point where it won't be complete Ragnarok and a time cycle will partially happen. I think boy will find some way to kind of manipulate the world serpent and we'll go ahead and be able to get Kratos back. And it'll be kind of like in the same moment of this game. Of the yeah. Where the blades, I think that that's yeah. the revelation of the game three is that you get Kratos back and you're like, Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. And he's giant. For some giant reason. Kratos. <laughs> Because I, I think that's what it feels like it's building to. Is I, it, it depends because it feels like it wants to kind of build Atreus as a character we could potentially have as like the next generation God of War and anta- or protagonist, but it doesn't feel like it is ready to hand yeah, those right, reins over entirely. I just thought of the fucking dumbest thing they could possibly do. Go for it. <laughs> they go they go Sonic Generations and they get old Kratos and new Kratos <laughs> together. <laughs> <laughs> go fight God of War generations. Ares! No, no, there's no. New Kratos is trying to no calm down old Kratos. There, just, oh, there, there's, oh, so embarrassing. Then don't mind him. Ares! No, no, oh, oh God, you're you're wiping your ashes all over. Oh God, damn oh. it. Oh, Jesus, I can't um, wash this off. <laughs> yeah. Um. What? What? Did, what? Oh, uh, fucking. Shout out to like to to uh, Gore's uh, Fast Nine teaser, yeah, where he made himself yeah. laugh for half the video. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the best premise for fucking Fast and Furious. Movie. Everybody thinks they should go out of space. I say which no, they should, by that. the way. But then after no, that, you ante I you ante up. I think mine. I think mine should be the tenth movie, and and they go they have to go save little uh, Vin Diesel's son from satan and they just drive into hell oh, like, you're gonna be like no 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 it should be like bioshock they go underwater they go scuba racing no <laughs> gore is like gore is like he drives off a cliff goes into the ground like as if it's like some sort of like secret portal and then starts bobbing and weaving through like catacombs and 
And... Yeah, big chasms, fucking bu- bubbling lava, and and the souls of dead people <laughs> it, it trying to trying to grab Vin Diesel. He's just like punching them. Fucking Fast and Furious. <laughs> and I said I would love if that happens, and I, and someone would sit down and watch the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> And then say, you know what? Let's just watch the last movie of Tim and Hell. You know what? If if a world if a world that ever happened in, I swear I will find someone that has never seen the series and I will make them do that. <laughs> We're gonna have a double feature. We're gonna have the first movie. Now watch where they're currently. At. To be fair, right now having someone do that's hilarious. Fair. <laughs> Hey, they they went from stealing VH, VH, uh, yeah, uh, VCRs, no VCRs. They stole VH, VH, stole DVD, players, right? DVD players, and then uh, now they're just pushing missiles out of the way. <laughs> they're punching boulders like Chris Redfield. <laughs> what the fuck? But but anyway, okay, we're bringing it back where we get. We're gonna we're, we're trying to bleed off of here. Yeah, that's fine. Um. So yeah, no, I I kind of stand with David. I think that the Kratos coming back in the last game and and God of War three is gonna be kind of like the big cool reveal. Yeah, I, I could see Sure. Them. I also think if they're going to make it very emotional in the second game, it would kind of destroy it if he just came back in the third game, wouldn't it? No, I... It would be, it'd be like Batman v Superman. Well, 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 they well, laid the groundwork for well, it. Well, well what, like, if they, what if they, like, it's a temporary thing where he's going to be here and he's sure. going to leave again at the end of the game. And then he says, I love you, son. Now I must go to the angels or whatever. He's gone to hell. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that if they go through with the idea of setting up Atreus as, like, the next generation's God of War character. Like, maybe not Son of actually War. keep the series as God of War, but spin it off to something else. But what, uh, the, uh, 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 Shout out to Sigma. I'm lagging. I'm lagging in my brain. But what happens with Freya? Because Freya, at the end of this game... Boulder gets killed, even though she doesn't want that because that's her son. Uh, but Kratos has to, which that's amazing scene, by the way, where he's just yeah. like the cyclones and he just fucking breaks his neck finally. Uh, which I don't know why that time it kills him. I get that he doesn't feel pain before, but when you first break his neck, he was invulnerable because... until he got hit with the mistletoe. But I get that, but he still, he still. He didn't feel pain, but he'd still bleed and still get hurt and stuff. Well, never, he was yeah. immortal before. Now, because of the mistletoe, that's like the one thing that erodes his immortality. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know if he was, um, if that just yeah. made him feel. They didn't really explain that. Like, yeah, no, he, he was, was vulnerable. But I thought he just wanted to feel again. Yeah, uh, and, and he was it, obviously. It, still I got a feeling. Too. He, he still had some immortal in him because you you cut him like five times in the well, chest. He's and the still neck. a fucking god. It, yeah, that's it's... what I'm saying. But you broke his neck the first time, and and you threw his ass off a cliff. But then he shows up later, and then the next time you break his neck, he's dead. Yeah, because yeah. before he was immortal and entirely invulnerable. Like he just yeah. didn't okay. have feelings, and that's why. Like I don't know if you guys okay. sat through that whole scene in Hell where Boulder's confronted, uh, watching that yeah. past yeah. with his mother. But like that whole build up in that scene, and then going towards the end where he's just like, "I can finally fucking feel again. I can. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you, and it's gonna be great. Cause I'm gonna." Feel the rush of the emotion of it, just because. It's like my son. I, I and you know what? And I, and I was trying. Just like fuck. I was trying to say it earlier that I think the Mistletoe was actually a pretty cool little play. I like the way that that, that whole played out, where it's like you. Uh, she threw it away, but I didn't really pay mind to it. I, I was like, that was weird, but it just kind of left my head after that. And then I like how that little like, the thing that he was like trying to help his kid with that came back to him. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll go for it. No, I was just going to say, and and that's honestly the story of God of War to me. Like, if I'm just going to give a quick recap of, like, my feelings of the game as a whole, um, there, this game did a really good job of setting up not only just, like, set-piece moments, like when he went to go retrieve the blades or those kind of moments where he just kind of had to reflect on his past or have those kind of teaching moments with his son, but it was also great at foreshadowing. It, foreshadowing is a technique that is so easy it, it's like good cinematography it's so taken advantage of that you just kind of expect it but at the same time when it's done really really well you don't notice it and it's kind of a shame because god damn it really makes a it really makes a difference kind of like great uh music Music, when it's done right, and audio balancing, when it's done right, you don't really pay attention for it. 
but when it's done wrong, you always notice it. And this game also did a really great job of not only blending the scenes, but blending the music and the tone and just the direction all around for this game was fucking top notch. And it's definitely a game where uh, maybe you can give more perspective. I actually would not recommend playing this game without at least playing the first God of War. Uh, just if only for maybe, or at least even God I of War. I think the third one. Yeah. The third, third one, definitely. I think that's, I have a feeling that's why they remastered God of War 3. I, I can definitely see And that. not not the first two, when they could easily just added them as digital codes or something, but they didn't. Well, they um, didn't remaster one. Two didn't get a remaster. Well, they no, did, no, no, baby. I mean, I'm, I'm on PS4. Yeah, PS, PS4, PS4 got, a, got, a War, got a War 1 remaster. When? A while ago. It was never physical. If it, if it was like a digital thing, then I guess. It was physical. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. Pretty sure there, there was on PS3. There, there definitely was on PS3, but not on PS4, I don't think. Um, no, there wasn't. Was just... PS4 does not have God of War 1 or 2. Yeah, it doesn't. Born ahead. God of War 3 is remastered. Yeah. They remastered that. And I have a feeling that's why, because that game, especially towards the end when like the reveal is just like, yeah, I killed my uh, father. I'm looking. Oh, wait, no. No, you're right. All right, fair enough. Yeah, no. I uh, forget the point. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was. It was on no, PS3. They even did a remaster of. That's one thing I should mention. They did a remaster of the uh, PSP games, too, on PS3. Yeah. So, if uh, you did want to play that for some reason... Uh, they, I'm sure they're on Vita, right? I don't know. Oh, I'd maybe be surprised digital. if they were it, not. They might be, because PSP games would PS, be on Vita. Yeah, PS Classics. As like, PSP Classics. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, what I will say is, I think maybe our prediction is, you kill Thor, Freya kills I, you. Know you. What? I'm going to say you don't kill Thor. I would say you kill Thor, I think Freya kills you, or kills Kratos. Yeah, that's and what I was come. thinking too. Because that's why I was—I wanted to bring up Freya. I think Freya does. If if he's gonna die, I think Freya is going to do it. She'll feel bad about it. I think I think she'll kind of be over it at one point in the but, trilogy. But then then Atreus goes fucking shit. Like he's like nuts. By and the we end of saw that. in this game he does go Spartan rage for like a half a second, and yeah. his body can't handle it, so he passes out. That's when Baby uh, Yoda. <laughs> Modi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's using the four. <laughs> just. But. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, he's just. He shrivels up fetal position. Because I, I still think it's going to be Atreus that kills Kratos. What I think is going to happen is I that... I think it's going to be Master Chief. You're right. Master Chief will just come out and of nowhere. And Smash next Kratos. year. And Smash, and Smash. And Kratos and Smash. Tsunami. I would love Kratos and Smash. Uh, Imagine Tsunami Tom is in Smash. I have a strict rule of not wanting anything outside of games inside oh, Smash, but I will let Tom... Be in there. Oh, you'll let Tom. Uh, if he has, ev- if if he has a costume for every Tom in there, Sakurai over here. But no, I think it'll be a trick because I think what will happen is he'll get forced into a circumstance where it's gonna put those kind of sensitivities that he's had throughout this game and potentially into two. And it's just going to force him to have this moment where it's like maybe it's like a greater good thing where it's gonna fucking kill him. Or it'll be, honestly, a reflection of what happened to Kratos. He could end up in a situation where the cycle repeats because they bothered to make that lie of the cycle on tier kill Baldur. Well, well they, they also make a point saying that uh, Atreus is like, you would let me kill you if... if or, or you would let me kill you, and Kratos is like, yeah, if it means you'll live. Exactly. So I can see, so, I can see it going. There's, there's, there's so many ways they can go with this. Go there because that's a little too obvious, right? Like, that's the what whole I game think. is just building up. Like, I uh, kill my father. There's a but that's the thing is, like, the whole game. It. It, but that's kind of goes into what I was saying earlier. Of like, if you know mythology, you kind of know where the game's going. But even I was like, you know, eh, damn, that's a lot like Loki. I'm just gonna whatever. I, and I think that's how God of War Two will play out. Is there will be a lot of things where it's like, oh man, God of War kind of set that up. Yeah, whatever. I think the whole next game will be that prophecy, them thinking it's going to happen, or just Kratos thinking it's going to happen, you know, the whole thing on the wall. Him knowing that he's going to die, and I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be, like, something where, like, because because Kratos is, is just, like, such a, it's such a badass son of a bitch, he just, like, destroys any prophecy that happens. Something's going to happen where he doesn't, he doesn't die in that one. I think he'll probably die in the third game. And uh, I think maybe even halfway. They'll do, like, some, like, Last of Us shit where, I mean, Joel didn't die, but, you know, there's a part where, what's her name? He plays her. 
no, I got it. They'll do some Buffy the Vampire bullshit, and mm-hmm. it'll be like, oh, he was technically dead for like a minute, and then he came back to life because he got air back in his lungs. But he was clinically dead for a minute. Well, there you go. That counts. <laughs> he was clinically dead. This god, was, they got the they got the paddles. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> All right, guys, he's fine. All right, thanks, God. All right, God, doctor. So, uh. <laughs> Yeah, stay tuned because I think we will. I think I might go into into all that stuff, and we'll talk about that on on Blue Rupees what, what, what my experiences with God of War one through three. I might okay. I might put a yeah. I'm really curious to see you going back to the other games. Uh, yeah. just because it's gonna be really weird to be like, oh man, uh, this really enriching story, Kratos. You know, this very deep, complex character. Oh, here's Angry Man fucking shit up. <laughs> see, see, and I, again, I will say, I think, I think, and I'm almost kind of with David where. I don't think I got as much out of the game as other people did, just because I think that sure. context was needed there. I think that transition was needed to be seen. Um, this otherwise it stands alone as if this was like no such thing as God of War prior. This is just God of War, and that's it. I think compared to the other games like Last of Us, like um, like Walking Dead, where it's like that parental thing. I just think that connection was so it was unique. It was very unique, and I like that it was like it was a strange thing that had to work both ends so hard to get together and it didn't meet there. I just think that the likability was such a jarring thing to me, but I, it's, you guys are, you guys had a bouncing off point that you guys see Kratos is immediately likable from the get go compared to what he used yeah, to. Cause you're like, God damn, he I was such a shit he... person right away. Immediately. I liked this guy a lot more, but like for me, I was like, this guy's still kind of an asshole. And, but I mean, I'm sure when I play God of War one, two and three, I'm like, never mind. That guy's a fucking amazing <laughs> fellow. I, this guy's I an really asshole. Do, I really do think it's better to play this one first, though, because the whole mystery behind his character is interesting if you've never played the first three, I think, because he they just, like, give you little hints of what happened, just, like, little things. And I think if you play the first It's like Red games, Dead and Red it, Dead 2. <laughs> it's like, this is Red Dead, I'm going back yeah, for I the sequel. Yeah, I so, kind of. With, uh, uh, yeah, with that... No, okay. no, no, I'm not saying... I, I'm saying I think at the end when I play all these, it's going to be a lot more fulfilling, and I'll, I'll, because... I'm, I'm going to bump this game up a lot more. But I think just playing this just alone in its own isolation, I think there's a reason why maybe it didn't... And I'm not saying... And, and what I'm, I still fucking love the game. I think it was an incredible yeah. game. And I think it's definitely... If I look back at my 2018 games, top five, 100%. Oh yeah, it's probably my second favorite game. It might be my two. I can't, I can't think of it. What my twenty eighteen? I think games it were. would be my favorite of twenty eighteen. Um, yeah, play Red, Red Dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that once I get into that, it'll be more. But I think just standing on my own, I think it, there's a reason why I'm so disconnected from everyone else, not having that history. When I go back, sure. I think I'm gonna appreciate that game a lot more. I think going back, I want to watch the reactions, people freaking out over the blades and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna appreciate this game a lot more. Sure, but I also think it's it would be more interesting. Like, oh, I think oh, it's actually, no, it would have oh, been 2018. Uh, Octopath Traveler came out in 2018. Never what mind. What a fucking weeb. Um, I no, no, I, I don't. Think, I, 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 I just think like the like going back now. I think you'll find it. I, I think you'll find it really interesting to see how that character does no, not grow no, even a little bit. Uh, and no, I agree. Stays exa- actually, that's not true. He does grow. He becomes kind of a dick. But, Towards well, the end of two, he kind of realizes that uh, maybe everyone isn't entirely my enemy, but there's still that layer of like, it, it's like in God of War 3, he has like that second thought of, maybe this is a bit, be- nah, fuck it. And then like, because that's like the most evolution he gets is like, he's like, oh, maybe this isn't entirely what, nah, fuck it. Nah, no, I agree. Him. I agree. I think, I think I will have this whole relation there. I just think from my standpoint right now, not not playing those games yet. It's a very different standpoint than I think a lot of people just because they have experienced those games. Yeah. Exactly. Um, not and again and that that's not that's that's me being as critical as humanly possible. I fucking love the game. Gorgeous looking game. Like, I, looked incredible. Awesome time. I I, I loved it. Because like I see. actually kind of wish I could have like been a fly in the wall for like when going back to like that scene with Zeus in hell, just from your perspective, like oh I guess he's the son of Zeus. Like, I gotta imagine what your reaction was. Yeah, I was like, like oh, <laughs> yeah. I know that. And then I, I didn't like, know he killed Zeus and so did all that. Oh fuck, yeah, he's back. <laughs> I, I assumed back. I assumed that he killed Zeus just because the way that whole thing was like where where uh where Trace like I can't believe anyone killed their father. Yeah, I'm like, Trace was like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah, do the face. 
like... <laughs> yeah, no, like there's a lot of things I can I can easily presume that's gonna happen, but uh, I I'm really 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 excited to uh go back and rewatch the Athena scene because I felt like I was missing so much there. I felt like this is like oh, this, I felt so much weight by the end of God. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. felt oh, like I was God like War three definitely. I felt oh. like yeah, no, that was a scene where I'm like. There, you, the know when there's, you know when there's some idea. things where you play games or, or watch shows? Like, this is actually what happened to me in The Walking Dead, where, uh, spoilers for The Walking Dead, like, what the fuck cares? Uh, season 2 of The Walking Dead, you know when they zoomed out and you see the prison back there? Mm. That's when I was like, I and I clicked him, I was like, I'm missing something here that's, like, so fucking big right now. I know it, but I really want to go back and experience that. I feel like this, this, this scene I'm going to want to go back to, and I'm like, alright, now that all makes sense. Yeah. I, guess I, I can't relate to Walking Dead, but like I recently showed a buddy of mine uh, Twin Peaks because I mentioned it before. I picked the uh, I got uh, I'm excited the to watch Peaks, that one day. Uh, new series for that one, but I recently rewatched that and I showed it to a buddy of mine while I was doing it. And that was one of those things where it's like going through season one of that and knowing what happens with the rest of the series. Like, oh man, there's so many cool scenes in here. It's like. There's just the tiniest little fucking details that happen in season one that they call back to at the end of season two. And it's like, oh, you're experiencing this. Do you connect the dots yet? Do you connect the dots? Oh, I can't wait right. to connect the dots. And then season two hits. So it's like, beautiful. I'm excited. I might I might bump God of War 1 up on my list because I was really actually hoping to do uh, Devil May Cry. But I'm going to need to space those games out. I got, I got God of War 1 through 3 and now Devil May Cry one through five <laughs> I'm I, like, think I will should. say at least for that those will be great games that it's like oh i'm in the mood for god of war or dale may cry they'll at least be great transition games because they're the same speed i might they're... just save i might just be using god of those games uh, hack and slashes i guess for, i guess that's the whole thing right yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. might right, just have i might have a hack and slash going at any point in my gaming stuff this year all right what are you yeah. playing i'm playing control and then my hack and slash of the week is devil may cry the only thing that'll be weird is like devil may cry uh, to a lesser extent, one, but especially two, and then the God of Wars are all about being hyper aggressive. Yeah. The weird one will be when you get to Devil May Cry three, because that game hyper relies on evasion. That game is very much a you can be aggressive, but you really need to wait for your moment. It is for do, most part. Oh, do you think really the style switching up. has anything to do would change it up? I think the style changing will actually kind of break the game a little bit because that was the kind of really interesting thing about three was because you were stuck in the style between missions. Uh, I pretty much always played trickster in that one because that game did. Oh, uh, Loki. Vision. Loki. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, trickster Loki. You play Loki the entire time. Uh, but no, that game did. Tom Hiddleston. It, so I always played trickster with it. Um, but the other styles, it's like with the style switching, I can actually see that it breaking out a little bit just because then you'll be able to take full advantage of the trickster's evasion abilities and then immediately switching into the more aggressive styles when you do have those moments. Um, so I, I could nice. see it being a little bit broken, but I, I, I still think that by the nature of what Devil May Cry 3 is, uh, especially where it follows the special edition version, uh, you'll still have plenty of challenge out of it. It's just definitely... When you hit it, expect it to be a lot more defensive focused. I'm just kind of excited because I got God of War one and two on Vita, and Devil May Cry one through three on Switch. So my others are kind of my on the go. Like, <laughs> all right, yeah. cool. I can just kind of take those whenever. And then uh, God of War three is when I'm to sit down on the PS4. And like, all right, now yeah. it's time. Yeah. All right, yeah. that was our God of War uh, games gone by. That was a good chunky episode. Thank you, yeah. Gore the Movie God. And great yeah, discussion. What? It was a great fucking game. Seriously, Gore. Thank you for recommending this game. I've been meaning to check this game out. It was a great excuse to play through it. And uh, yeah, fucking phenomenal game. Uh, would highly recommend anyone play it. More so if you've played the other God of Wars. Um, so, but uh, yeah, no. I'll, I'll get back I'll get back to you. And, and maybe uh, we'll see how, how my experience does versus you guys is to see if yeah, it's more interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll do talk Games about Gone By Gone By, where we'll go ahead and revisit Games Gone By episodes. Yeah, again. there you go. <laughs> We'll talk about we'll we'll remake them, remaster them, <laughs> and this and this time Adrian will get it right and say, "Yo, that was sick. I remember that scene in God of War two, though, that connected to this scene, God yeah. of War one, four. Um, and then just just a reminder again. So let's go through it one more time. February twelfth is what remains to be to Finch. Uh, February twenty sixth is uh, Barkley Shop at Jam Gaiden. 
Um, March 11th. Game's gone by to be announced. And then March 25th will be Watch Dogs 2. Yeah. Also, real quick. April will be Red Dead Redemption 2. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> you say that you're gonna be so thankful when you play that game because you're gonna no, love. No, because not April. Final not, Fantasy VII is that month. Please, it's not, not gonna April. be April. Okay. You gotta just like you just gotta like gargle out Final Fantasy VII because it's like eh, it's an old game. You know, just play something. No, <laughs> it's not an old game. It is an old game story wise, but everything else. No, fuck you. Don't do that to April, please. Don't do that. But like I I'm actually, I actually walked into my uh, work uh, when I heard that it got pushed back, and I looked my boss square in the face, and I, was, and I outright told him, "I don't give a fuck how busy we are in April. I am taking days off in April." He's like, "Oh, okay. Is there? It must be something important." You never asked. Yeah, my family before. member's gonna die that day. <laughs> no, I, I just I, I didn't answer him. He's just like, "Oh, it must be something important if you're asking for time off because you never really ask really adamantly ask for time off." I am always like, "I really wanted to do that thing, but I guess." Kind of like Did you when, did you not like, have the day off originally for the original release date? Uh, I was going to ask him, but when I I kept putting it off because I'm like, "Oh, I they put up the game." Know, well, no, we were in a slow <laughs> period. No, well, no, we were in a slow period, so I was basically like, I need to find things to do. Well, I, let me volunteer for a bunch of projects. And so I wasn't expecting anything. And then we just immediately hit a fast period again because that's the joy of my, what my day job is, is you have slow periods and fast periods and they can't really predict. Uh, and then I, when we hit this fast period again, I just went into my boss's office like, I don't give a fuck what's going on. I'm not going to be here for like three days in April. And he's like, oh. It must be really important if you're t- if you're demanding time off. You never demand time off. I'm like, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, my boss and I have a great relationship. He leaves me the fuck alone. He's like, I trust you. You're competent. Just you'll only hear from me if there's something that you need to know. It's like, yeah, leave me the fuck alone. Can, can I? Do I so I went back and watched the beginning of last week's episode where uh, David's taking a button off. And then he and he gets one button down. Like, never mind. I got I got coworkers to watch this. Do you need to have a full fucking button up shirt <laughs> to ever see your fucking coworkers? God forbid you take one button off like a yeah, normal person. This is proper well, professional. You'll see the, sacri- the sacrificial the sacrificial scar where he ripped out his own heart <laughs> for his company. No, because. Uh, technically, I actually wasn't in proper full attire because I also had, I'm supposed to wear an undershirt. But uh, I, even in winter, I get really fucking hot, so I don't. Well, uh, I told but my boss, I, I "Oh, fuck you, man!" Program. He's like, "All right, man, you do a lot here." Here's a promotion. <laughs> but, um, uh, all right, that's games gone by. Thank you for watching. Yeah, games gone. Oh, real quick, before we do that, um, real quick, did you still? Uh, we didn't get a confirmation on this. Do you guys still? What do you guys think of my idea of you guys doing? Something. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Um, <laughs> uh, what did you guys Red think? Dead, baby. My... No, I <laughs> don't do that to April. You have a good time, man. Final Fantasy yeah, 7 and Red Dead. have a good time. I don't want anything to interfere with Final Fantasy. You'll beat it in like um, three days. You, you mean you don't want anything to interfere with Red Dead Redemption 2? Right? Oh, fuck you. Uh, I'm trying to... Get to this point so we can finish the goddamn episode. Okay, go ahead. Fucking no one's a derby. <laughs> uh, what did you guys think of my idea of instead of the normal kind of back and forth, you guys talking of Edith Finch first and then going into the perspective of someone that was like, no, I don't want to do this. I mean, I figured that was going to be the episode, right? Well, I... I we never, <laughs> we gonna, yeah. Because... I, I think that would actually be kind of neat of that perspective of two people that are like, yeah, no, I've been meaning to play that. I'm looking forward to it. And then going into grumpy Gus of, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this. I fucking hate it. And trust me, I too much fucking to say about the goddamn game. I'm lost on what you're uh, asking me. I think isn't that what we did in every episode? We just like let everyone say what they liked. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I'm thinking of more like you two actually going through your full perspectives and then mine. As opposed to, like, the back and forth, like, in this episode, we went back uh, and forth. Before the, in before the gag is you liked it. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe, because I feel like, I feel like Gore and I have a good discussion on the, on those kind of games, and you'll open up your shitty heart. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert, I liked it. 
Spoiler, spoiler alert. Played, played okay. I played okay. a while back. Spoiler alert my I'm... fucking beginning of that game. No, 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 Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. Well, I haven't played it yet. Yeah, don't say, don't say anything. I, I talked over that. Don't even say anything. I, I'm the one who wanted to fucking p- play it to begin with. You're going to spoil it for the... For no, me? I think no, he's... No, he's, spo- spo- he's spoiling his own his view. All right, what are you going to spoil? No, 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 no. Save, save it. Really, he's not going to spoil the game. Fuck. Save it. Save, no, we're save saving it. all talk for the podcast. Goodbye. Wait, hold on. Don't end it yet. We're already over. <laughs> Red Dead, baby. Oh.